perfect day when we played the night of sun. She said she couldn't stay when her night had just begun. She wanted me to know what no she didn't know herself. Said I was one of my lovers. Hey now, that's something else. She played a vocal mission. I played the cosmic heart. Wanted to paint her picture. She said, don't even start. She said, love's like a drug and that this was chemistry. But with these chemicals then, how is this good for me? Her life gets better, she read. Her man goes out of his head. Like birds of a feather, so we bled. Let's go together. And she said, so what's the altitude? I said, it's out of sight. What's with the attitude? And she said, it's all right. So what's the altitude? I said, it's out of sight. What's with the attitude? And she said, it's all right. She said, let's get away now. Let's go down by the bay. She turned her hand my way now. Watch out. What you say now? Now the things you've been through make it seem like nothing could ever really last forever. But if you try, girl, we can do some things. She gave me headphones. Said, have you heard this sound? I think I've heard this one is totally underground. And I wouldn't let her go then. She wouldn't let me go. Just ask the neighbors, man. It's unbelievable. I played the morning rising, she played the setting sun She said she couldn't stay when her night had just begun So what's the altitude? I said it's out of sight What's with the attitude? And she said it's alright So what's the altitude? I said it's out of sight Without a band and we dance, we party all night We party all night We made the perfect day when we played the night sun. She said she couldn't stay when her night had just begun. She wanted me to know what she didn't know herself. Said I was one of my lovers. Hey now, that's something else. We played a vocal mission to play the cosmic sky. How can we make the distance? You've always known my high. We're letting people know what, what we now know ourselves. That we are one of my lovers. Hey now, that's something else. She gave me headphones. Said, have you heard this sound? You know I've heard this one, girl. Let's get out of town. This love is like a drug and we bonded chemically. We're letting you know better. Living Hello, through chemistry. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. I'm Eric Dewey. And I'm Adam West. I am Matthew Renfrew. And we are Socially Awkward. Thanks so much for coming out. It is Friday, May the 2nd. It is already May. Uh, we are just about a month away from Phoenix Comic Con. It's going to be I'm May. <laughs> it already is. It already is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I can't believe it's May already. We're about a, we're just over a month away from Con now. That's uh, this year is going by so damn quick. I'm I'm really excited for that. Um, but uh, so, how have you guys been doing? Huh? How was your week, Matthew? Uh, pretty good week, man. Just yeah? uh, yeah. you know, rocking and rolling, shaking and baking, doing what I do. Um, 
<laughs> I reached level 20 on Hearthstone nice. and I got the <laughs> the card back and all that stuff so cuz the uh the season's over season 1. Um so that was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I worked really hard. I grinded. I got a like a winning streak and everything, my first winning streak. It was it was cool, man. I was That's like, awesome. Yeah. Then, now, did you focus on like one uh, class or whatever? Rogue. And oh, you just focus. See, I, I went Rogue, like man. I tried to get everybody, and now I'm working on getting everybody to level ten, and then I'll work on getting everybody to level twenty. Like going around the circle. I, I'm winning with rogue, so I'm like, right. I'm, I've been, I've been doing pretty with good with uh, with mage. You start out with the mage, mm-hmm. and I was I doing like pretty mage. good. My mage is at like fourteen or something like that. But then. I think I've got my warrior or something like that at uh, like level twelve. So, but I just uh, just barely unlocked the druid, so I need to get him up to level ten now. So mm-hmm. druid's pretty good too. Yeah. So uh, yeah. But yeah, that's wow, nerds. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> that would be a highlight of my week. Wow. Surprisingly, uh, that was pretty much the highlight of my week too. Was uh, discovering that I could play Hearthstone at work by remote desktoping into my laptop at home from my work PC, so I could play it. Wow. I can do it on my phone, too. It's pretty awesome. Well, I, uh, I had my, <laughs> my computer with me all day, and I was, <laughs> I was tempted to crack You're it like, open while I was playing I, yeah. uh, at lunch, but yeah. I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Yeah. It's, it is tempting, but you can lose an hour without even realizing it so easily playing that game. Like, you're just in there. Just, just one more. Just one more game. Just one more game. And, yeah. And Dude, then just... I, I hate it when, like, you're so close to winning. And then all of a sudden, the other guy will just, he'll have a lucky draw, and you're just yeah. like, shit. I or, was, I, I was going to take you out in the next move, like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. Or if you but, accidentally click the wrong thing and you attack, like, you have just enough attack points to kill them. Like you did with and me you the waste, other night. Yeah. And you <laughs> waste one of them on their minion and said, you're like, no. <laughs> yeah. And then you give them that opportunity to come back. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's the name of the game, but. I'm telling I'm, you what. I love it. Look at us. Look at us talking a video game, and Steven doesn't know what the hell we're doing. No, I know exactly. That's amazing. What you're doing. I, was you guys, I was letting you guys have a moment. For we're, out. we're having a moment here. I was going to say. All right, so get, that's how uh, that's how our weeks were. How about you? Should Steven? we get Hearthstone as a as a sponsor? Hey, oh, do it. God, that do it. So cool. I'm like Matt could already be the <laughs> spokesman. I could just see him on hey, the ads. Uh, hey, kids, <laughs> you want something free to play? You got nothing else better to do? Cards. <laughs> Let's play me. Crack is whack. Get addicted to this instead. <laughs> yeah. So. So how about your week, Steven? How was your week uh, you know what let's excitement not, thrills let's, let's excitement not let's thrills. not bring the uh let's not bring the show down let's get, <laughs> let's get right to our guests no one wants to hear about that oh sure i can bring the show down with my week last week but you no because you had a you had a you had a happy <laughs> side to it like oh okay you had shit happen and then all you can show that as much as you lose your faith in humanity what happened yeah, then you realize <laughs> <laughs> are you serious did, did you not listen to last week's show <laughs> With his tires here. getting oh, cut. Oh, yeah. And then a bunch of people. Yeah, oh, yeah. That was I broke cool, my man. foot. I broke a rib. Yeah. I got my tire slashed. That's I mean, what I'm saying. Was, like, you had, a, you, had a, you had a worse week last That's week, right. but then you it was yeah. like as soon as you lost this your This week was blessedly boring. Actually, I was and so happy that it, nothing major happened this week. You had that and you lost your faith in humanity, but then you were nice to show that yeah, it was, shows how cool people can actually be, you yeah. know, after people band together. Yeah, so. which, was, which was pretty so. damn awesome. So Mine basically is like, you know, Empire Strikes Back right now, where we're still waiting for the next movie to come out to be like, can Steve turn it around? <laughs> or is he still going to be stuck in fucking Hey, come on carbonite. now. Come on now. You know those Ewoks are coming. Just chin up. Chin up. I'm those trying. Ewoks are coming. I'm trying. Those cute little fucking bears. No, it people. could be worse. I could mm-hmm. be having a worse week like uh, Lando Calrissian Uh-oh. right now did not get picked, casted right now for his uh, uh, Did you see him on fucking It's because he got, it's he got voted out of <laughs> Of course, he's not going to be in the fucking movie. Oh, he didn't get booted out of that too. Yeah, oh, dude, dude can barely walk. Dude I mean, how is like, he going to go on a dancing show? <laughs> the only clip I, I see love is, him. I love the guy, but it was awful. He's like, Shit, I watched the show. I just do. ain't my week. But Man, like, I lost this. <laughs> lost Star Wars now. What the fuck? Dude. The only person who was worse on Dancing with the Stars in recent memory was Bill Nye. Bill Nye was awful as I well. Even, I don't <laughs> even watch the show. I just see the clip, and it's like the one clip of him doing like some Charleston type move, and I just it go, was, "What? You're like, just like, what? He's gonna break something? Stop! Just oh, stop, record. Billy D. Stop!" For the record, I wasn't doing the Charleston. I was having a minor stroke. <laughs> <laughs> oh oh man, man, we thought that was your best dance. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> and it's to like the the Cantina track or whatever the yeah. the oh, name of it? it is. Yeah. yeah. Bum, bum, yeah. Bum, 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 the first week, they always try to do something that's specifically tied into who the people are. Was Bill Nye just like his theme song? No, Bill Nye, they did Blinded by Science. Oh, that's cool. It was great. <laughs> but he sucked in. It would have been real funnier if they dancer. did that. Bill, Bill, yeah, Bill, Bill. Bill Nye, this like... they had, No, people were ch- chanting oh, that really? in the audience. They didn't do that in the soundtrack, but yeah. they had it in the audience. It was, 
it was pretty awesome, even though he sucked really bad. And then he broke his foot like after the first week, and like so the second week he wasn't even he was like in a boot like doing the robot around. It was it was awful. Yeah, dude. The dude, um, the dude has. I like voted no for him bone. though. I was like, fuck it, I'm voting this. <laughs> got, like bone defense issues. Um, well then, we should go ahead and uh, introduce our guest for this week. We have with us in studio, uh, Christopher. Hello. Hello. Hey. 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 Um, Christopher is with the Zero Complex Project, which is the uh, which is a web series that is currently seeking funding through Kickstarter to get going. Um, I, why don't you tell us a little bit more about the actual show and, and what it's about and what it, what it what is it? Sure. Sure. What First, this is. I I'm very <laughs> glad that you guys allow cussing to happen so oh yeah, yeah. Fuck. No, oh sorry just, we forgot I just, to um, I can just mention myself yeah i'm, I'm good uh, with that and second please somebody enlighten me more about hearthstone later that oh yeah absolutely sounds absolutely. so interesting oh yeah dude for sure <laughs> but um yeah zero complex i'd so, be playing right now if i wasn't in the show. why don't you just do it let's all do it hey man I mean, you want to yeah, play they were just talking about you can bring it up on the you know, desktop and control <laughs> it and stuff. all these mobile should pay, we should pay attention to our guest <laughs> <laughs> but um, oh, i just meant we'll turn it on when eric's talking <laughs> damn that's messed up you're gonna you're gonna exclude me i want to play too well, <laughs> i want to play I, if you guys don't mind teaching me absolutely uh, it's oh, yeah. pretty... we can show you <laughs> well all right well um zero complex is basically the brainchild of of several people um main component would be uh paul denegris who's kind of like been my mentor and friend he's one of the uh, prominent filmmakers here in arizona he teaches at uat and he's an overall cool dude but um he kind of gathered all of his closest um contemporaries that he trusts and has a good time working with in collaboration together and he kind of brought up a, a a sentiment you know where where he's kind of we were all tired of seeing retreads or you know everyone going back to the well so yeah just continually reboots or batman 27 or you know superman's coming again <laughs> different versions of the same thing that we've always seen and we want to see some <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles exactly <coughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles with noses <laughs> I'm getting more excited fuck Michael Bay yeah which oh. is weird though because uh, I just started Donatello I was yeah, like he the, looks fine why the new trailer I don't he's know, got just, the fucking it's like, goggles and shit it's it only like so cool. some have noses and some don't yeah, have noses it's like, it's like it's really weird sorry I, oh, no 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 like, okay. no problem I have the same <laughs> okay <argument. laughs> it's quite alright we go on tangents a lot um, oh Oh, we're gonna especially do when fine. it comes to michael bay we're gonna do just fine i'm trying to be good <laughs> but um so he got us all together and he proposed a basic yes? a basically <laughs> uh yes i did say yes okay cool um but he proposed a, a project with a, a basic tagline which was community meets kick ass Ooh, and Ooh, that's um, and that's where do i sign up <laughs> Kickstarter. Go to Kickstarter.com, type in Zero Complex, and help us. Okay. You can also find them on Facebook and Facebook, on Twitter, Twitter with links to the Kickstarter page. They've got some really cool... Um, Incentives. What are they? Are they called perks? Perks. 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 Is, that, incentives. is it perks? Is incentive? I always forget because I know one of them. Yeah. Kickstarter is one like thing, and then they have uh, what's the other one? Gifts. Indiegogo is something else, and they have a different name for it. And so I don't want to say the wrong name, but there's some pretty cool things you can get for backing. Yes. So very much so. Um, I think I got yeah, the yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't do a lot. I did back it, but I couldn't do a lot. So I think I got the one where I get the DVD set. Sure, when it comes out. So I'm pretty happy about awesome. that. So. Yeah, we have a lot of great collaborators like Alan Amos. Their their prop and costume oh, design. Yeah. So we've had on the Solid, show. Yeah. Yep. yeah, you know they're going to be making some cows, uh, specifically the flying fox characters cow. Yes, and one of the uh, achievements that you can unlock would be. If you get a certain amount of backing, you will get one of the the, the cows that we're going to use in the in the web series. Now, did you say fox? Flying fox. Flying fox. Flying okay. fox. I wasn't sure it was flying fox or flying fox. So, yeah. it's a, <laughs> so, so either it's, one, it's I'm good bat. with. Can you see my screen? There's the flying fox character. It looks pretty badass. I want to be the flying fox now. Can he, I be that? Sure. Can I be? We're going to be holding. Uh, real, you know. Can I do it as like an Adam West? <laughs> I am the flying fox. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you would have to. You we're, would have to tell me what. We're, we're looking for a, a Christian Baelish. You know, if, if you you know, you got to talk with that gravelly voice. Oh, really? I could. Yeah, yeah. I'm the flying fox. Yeah, there you go. Something like that. And then what's just normal when I'm just out of costume, or am I always in costume? You're going to be mostly in costume. So it's like the tick. 
I'm, yes. I'm on board. Where do I sign up to try out for this thing? I will try out for any of these characters First, now. we need to totally get um, Let's back. do this. Okay. Please, yes. help us. I'm Share excited us, now. Like us, love us. First time I can be a superhero. You know, the, and then the, I, you could just put that joke in. It's like, what does the fox say? And then he just punches him in the face. Oh, my God. I was the fox for Halloween. And I had like the a boom box. Character? Oh, that really? Boom that yeah, the that whole, I was probably hated for the rest of the night because I was bu- bumping that song the entire night this actually works out because i'm actually trying to get into shape again so there you go. Be, it's my goal now now to be it's like i thought you wanted to do comedy fuck comedy i'm gonna be oh, the, Fox. this is gonna be a great i think you're already fit for it sweet everyone back this right now stop please what you're doing. please i'm now going to do this i'm joining on the band how how long is uh how long did they have toll to uh, um, pay we for have it? 10 more days, 10 or okay, 9 10 more days. days yeah, it's, uh, I was just looking at nine days to go. Uh, so they please. are currently just under halfway, it looks like. So they need to get that push uh, yes. to get up there. But there's a lot of cool. I mean, you can do as much as, as little as a dollar and still get, you know, you, you get a thank you on the Facebook page. You get your name on there for five bucks. You get your credits in the name, in the, you get your name in the credits for all of season one for five bucks. Oh, I'm already going to be in the credits. Come on. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> but now so you can get cool, it twice. You presents. can be like starring yeah, and presents. produced yeah, by because there you go. I'm so um, excited now. I got something <laughs> to live for. Yes. <laughs> um, I, I got the, the one with the, oh, what do we get? The HD downloads, the name in the credits and the uh, DVD. So let's, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. For so sure. hurry up. So what, what, what was the, uh, not only was the idea was the kick ass meets, uh, community but who was just like i want to do basically like i want to i want to do a i want to do like a superhero kind of thing like yes. who was just all like oh you know what hasn't been done in a while let's do this well no I was, it more was in the point where we're all, we're all big sci-fi superhero fantasy that's all the stuff that's all our wheelhouse that in this group that we've all kind of assembled together so you know once he said superheroes we're all on board. Oh, you know yeah. that's just like where do i need where's the dotted line please you know, I'm in. So, I mean, once he just said the log line to us and kind of gave us a basic concept, he it wasn't like pulling, you know, nails yeah. you know, for us to, to get in, in line with him. So, you know, once he kind of proposed it, we all just kind of fell into place and uh, we all kind of have our own kind of skill sets. You know, I'm the writer. Paul is a producer, writer, director. Um, our other uh, cohort, Briscoe, he's really good at, at comedy writing. Oh, very and cool. And he's a producer himself. And we have uh, Nola Jurgen, who's our costume designer. So she's a very prominent person in the cosplay oh, community. Cool, cool. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> just like yeah, everything about this looks dang awesome. That, that's why what I mean, I was just uh, kind of, you know, trolling my Facebook page. And I, I think Annabelle Martinez had, yes. had, had posted something, uh, a comment on uh, Paul's page or something like that. And I was Annabelle's like, well, what's a great this about? contributor. And uh, that's where I saw it. I was like, this is pretty awesome. And then I noticed that it was all local here. And I was like, oh, we got to get these guys on the show. I appreciate um, it. And so, uh, yeah, I reached out to Paul and he was like, I can't, I can't make it this week, but I'd really love to have some kind of, you know, have somebody there because we only have so much time left. He's actually coming on next week. Yes. So, cool. but that's only going to be like two days left for the, for the Kickstarter. So, so we definitely wanted to get your, get the word out there before that as well. Um, so hence, uh, hence you guys are here and, uh, we were originally going to have, um, Steve Briscoe as well, yes. but unfortunately, uh, scheduling didn't work out quite as well. So uh, you have to hold down the four parties. Darn but traffic! <laughs> <God>. <laughs> it happens. It, it happens. We uh, uh, we we've had that issue before. Unfortunately, <laughs> you know the valley is so sprawled that uh, there's people from all over. You know, you you say local, and it's like, okay, yeah, you're local in the Phoenix metro area. You still could be 35 yeah, exactly. miles apart from each other, and in rush hour traffic. It's okay. Just, Briscoe's a uh, strong enough person where his presence will be felt no matter what i can feel it right now <laughs> yeah. is that my why my my drink is getting lower when i said it over here yeah, he's a wine guy too oh. my dad you guys got something in common there we go all right that and also being males <laughs> all right that's two things all right we're gonna be the best of friends <laughs> very very cool so um what got you into i should say probably writing slash filmmaking yeah um oh, i've been in love with film since uh i was a little kid uh it first started with my dad taking me my first movie i ever watched was the 1954 godzilla film so ever since then I've, it's kind of been a, a i think this guy just entered my life in a new way <laughs> 
I, I feel something for you too, in a platonic way. No, me, way. definitely, completely. So, side, side note: Did you notice that like a bunch of the old Godzilla movies just got put yes. up on Netflix? The other oh day? yeah, you know they're building that up. <laughs> I mean, not to say anything, but I am doing. A, I have a Godzilla podcast on the hour. You put me on anytime, dude. You should talks. just be on as a so co-host because I don't have a co-host, oh, dude. <laughs> I, I, I was like, um, he's actually looking for like a full-time co-host for that. Let's talk. So, let, let, let's definitely. make moves. Let's oh make my moves. god, I'm gonna be in a. You're gonna have to be in a web series and. I'm going to have a new co-host. My life just got better today. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, I'm out of the carbonite. <laughs> Man, yeah, and going back, that was my first foray into film, so ever since then, I just attribute, it's probably a, a way of getting closer to my dad, so we had always connected towards movies, so, you know, the first movie I ever saw in a theater was Return of the Jedi, nice. so that was, you know, all, my dad was a genre guy. If he didn't have explosions, swords, <laughs> lasers, guns, you know, terrorist you know ci it wasn't for him it, he'd fall asleep so i was inducted almost into you know michael bay type school film. <laughs> that's the only way that i, I could yeah, watch no. films and luckily you got past that though <laughs> yes yes thank welcome to the rock i think it's called puberty where you want to start you know no you can't tell me what to watch dad i've watched pulp fiction and all that stuff so it's a good movie though uh, yes of course <laughs> but um so, so yeah I've, I've always loved film and you know I was also lucky enough that my father was a comic book store owner. So I grew up in comic book stores and uh, those instead of reading, you know, Huck Finn and Tom Sawyer and, you know, fairy tales, X-Men, Avengers, Batman, Superman, you know, those were my good fairy stuff. tales. Also fairy tales. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but the good kind. But yeah, the better. Good kind. yeah, right. Yeah. So, I mean, ever since then, I kind of always knew what I wanted to be growing up, which was. I wanted to make films and I was a storyteller. So I just continued to write and write my own fanfic that I never posted online or mm. shared with anybody, but it was there. And I just kind of knew I needed to take writing classes and film classes and video production classes. I kind of just went from there and took an internship with uh, Michael Blake who wrote Dances with Wolves. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. So it was a lo quite a learning experience. <laughs> um, it was a good movie too. Yeah. Great movie. Great People movie. talk crap about Kevin Costner, but I like him. I do. I think when he when he is passionate about something that he likes or he oh, yeah. wants to show, then you get a a plus Kevin Costner. Yeah. When you you get you know <clears throat> draft day Kevin Costner, uh, and then well, you, everyone's you, based you, you off of Kevin that. Costner now, where they're like, "Oh, I hate Kevin Costner. He just told Superman not to be special." <laughs> <laughs> I liked him in Happy on the Coys. Uh, that was that was pretty good. I liked him in. Yeah. Um, he was great in Mr. Brooks. He was fantastic. Too bad you don't know anything about yeah. that. Do you it. guys like Mr. Brooks? I like. I like. I really I had a hard time watching that one. Surprisingly, <sighs> like I did not. I was like, uh, I just got on a whim. I was like, yeah, it's it's like two dollars. Let's give it a shot. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. And I was like, surprisingly, for someone who's not had any expectations, I was like, yeah, it's actually pretty. good. I actually, it's, I think it's underrated. Is the Postman? Oh, you know what. Me too. I think I actually really well, enjoyed that movie. I, think that's a, I thought a that was well a very done. well done movie. No, 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 yes. I, I'm, I'm just laughing at the postman. I used to work with a guy who was like, I was in the postman. I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry. If you're trying to pick up women, that's not the movie to go to. I, I can just imagine. You hey, have, I just want you to know I was in the postman. You'd have a better shot going, I was an extra in Ghost Dad. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. But this guy was just like, and he's just like, he's just a background character or whatever. But then he was like trying to be like, oh yeah, I talked with Kevin Costner. I'm like, no, you didn't. <laughs> Do you want to go home? And I'll show you the scene that I. Yeah, that's what I was yeah. like. I'm like, is that yeah. your creepy picture? And this guy was like creepy. My like, house. <laughs> you walk into his living room, it's just Kevin Costner yeah. on every wall. <laughs> like, he was a creepy a guy. Like, he always thought he was in really good him. shape. He's like, guess how much body fat I have. Oh, I'm like, no. how, why, are we, why are we talking? <laughs> maybe like two percent i'm like that's not healthy like you're supposed to have some body fat like <laughs> like so what you're saying is if we crash in the mountains you're the first one i'm eating because you got the most meat on you, yeah what you're awesome. saying to me right now because that's that's all i'm hearing it was so weird like the first time i met him was when i was working at Coles. he was just right off the bat he's just like how old how old do you think i am i'm like how old do you think i am <laughs> this is becoming really creepy i'm not 14 <laughs> Ooh. i will not go home with you uh, I'm like I don't know right. 58 he's like I'll talk to you later. 39 so immediately your spidey sense went off <laughs> yeah it went off <laughs> I'm like spider sense tingling and not oh. in the good way <laughs> yeah. no now it is because my she pedo sense is tingling <laughs> <laughs> I feel it in my jowls <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice. so yeah, so that's all. That's all I laughed about the postman. So uh, right. nothing against the movie. Just that guy was just like, okay. really? You, you, it's not you one that I go back and, and rewatch a lot. But every every few years, go back and rewatch that one. 
You can't let yourself go five years without seeing the postman. I heard that's a <laughs> it's an urban legend. I heard that. Yeah. Because if not, yeah. then Co- Kevin Costner comes out of the screen. Yeah. Like oh, in the, the ring. grudge. You have to lock him in a well. To oh, lock the, ring. Him in the, the ring. Yes. <laughs> They're all the Asian Asian the girl with long wet hair over their face. It, you, yeah. It, 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 it's it's same same spirit, same ghost. <laughs> I'm yeah. Sure. Whatever. It's just Kevin Costner with a bad English accent coming after you, and you're like, oh God, oh, wait, stop boy, it. Boy, I was in Robin Hood. <laughs> oh, you mean the non-existent English accent? In Robin Hood, the the disappearing English accent. <laughs> You're like, wow, he's really he's kind of phasing that accent out as he goes, huh? But uh, no, I. You know what though? I I still like Robin Hood too. Hey. It's a fun movie. <laughs> Brian Adams song. Hell hits yeah! Me every time. Oh my goodness, hits me every time. Everything I do. I was waiting for Eric to do it for you. I was waiting for Eric to start singing his ballads. <laughs> no. It's not the greatest American hero theme, so I can't oh. sing along. <laughs> Good series. Good series. This is awesome. You're my new favorite. Awesome. Don't tell the others. Um, <laughs> You're right here. So what? <laughs> so tell us. I heard that. <laughs> Dang it! Uh, crap! I forgot you had headphones and a microphone and everything. <laughs> Tell us a little bit more about the the other people who are involved in this project with you guys. So, like I said, uh, Steve Briscoe, he's an actual, he was or is a stand-up comedian. He uh, writes material. He's written screenplays. He's written for TV shows. Um, he's also been a producer. Um, so he's pretty much a, a guy who's been in the industry, knows how to work the business and kind of get things and get things rolling. And he's been a, a, a godsend with, for me to, you know, because since, since I'm writing the story, you know, he helps tailor. You know, gets it focused, more focused. Because I'm everywhere. I want to. I want to put in this. I'm, no, oh, this will lead to really? this backstory, and I want to throw in mythos and all you know, the hero's journey. And he's like, you know, what are we still trying to tell? Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's, he's, he's he keeps you in check. Yeah. He's my roommate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I let her in. She's probably searching for her keys. Usually, we leave it unlocked. And then Just answer the door. Be like, who are you? Hi, roommate. <laughs> It's our oh no, it's Devin. Never mind. <laughs> Hi, Devin. I'm like, I was about to say the some random intern. person who's yeah, walking Sammy's in. Not, the Sammy's not here yet. Oh, okay. so, <laughs> yeah, go. Yeah, do we're really professional do. here. Nice meeting you. You do you, girl. Hey, oh, what happened here? Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, so yeah, okay. So that's uh, that's Briscoe. That's Briscoe. And then we have we have a great and talented uh, cinematographer DP called named called named Keegan Eid. He, we've worked together on several projects with Paul DeNegris. Um, I don't know if you ever heard of the short film Parallax, that one best Arizona short film. Does oh, have, yeah. Does it have Kevin that Cosby in it? No. No, uh, no. I didn't know you meant that Parallax. So yeah, Bill Cosby. Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, what? Still haven't heard of it. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Did you say we, parallax? We suck parallax. when it comes to parallax. certain things. Parallax. It's it okay. It's okay. I'm going to look it up. Maybe I just missed it. No problem. No. But yeah, we've been all kind of worked together on several projects through the years. So we're kind of like a tight knit family. Cool. And uh, we kind of all like the same things and cool. want to do that. And I brought up Nola Jurgen. Like I said, she's mm-hmm. she's a, a a big prominent person, a figure in the cosplay community here in Arizona. But she travels all through the the country uh, competing in uh, masquerades. Oh, cool, uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, different masquerade balls and and conventions and uh, festivals that cater to cosplaying very nice i like it i'm already liking this whole group you like you liking the flow i'm liking the energy flow well not even the energy flow just like everything you're talking about like i don't even know these people yet i'm like doing the bull dance yeah all right i like that too (laughs) yeah it looks really cool i mean just reading through some of the stuff on the kickstarter page and uh, you know some of the character bios and and things like that that uh, that you're bringing up um it it looks like it's going to be awesome i really really want this to get funded because i really want to see me too so (laughs) me too i think him more than us probably but i mean i just want to see it i'm just like i don't even i'm like yeah it'd be cool to be part of it how far away are you guys are you guys pretty Uh, far away of reaching the goal or close if not getting to the the halfway part yeah the point that, that's where it is right about now i'm just looking at it right now and my not to cut in but i have left out one name but he's sitting here but he just refuses to be part of this podcast with chase <laughs> oppie he's one he's of a- the he's one of the other writers on this show so well if you want maybe i'll just get Devin when she comes back from a smoke we'll just throw her on for no reason <laughs> yeah <laughs> like random person walking through the place say hey grab a mic how's it going down 
sit down and talk for a little while. Do you want some glass of wine? You got red. <laughs> no, actually, she's probably not yeah, drinking because she's driving. She's oh. got to take all the girls out to First Friday tonight. Oh, yes. Oh, right on. It is First Friday. That's yeah. true. The perks of leaving, living with a female uh, roommate, but not being able to hit on any of her friends. So. <laughs> Off limits, huh? State yeah, 40, that's what she told me. Stay 48 going to be she, First Friday. Did so. she sign, oh, yeah, make yeah. you sign a contract? I mean, because, I mean, if it's not binding. Uh, yeah. That was a notarized? Yeah, but witnesses? I think it's more of the fact that some of her other friends have already done that and then it's oh. all fucked up and then it just ruins the now industry ruined with ruined it for you yeah, basically and I'm like you know we always have it yeah speaking of State 48 I'm wearing one of their shirts uh, I like it I it's like very it. nice they will be at First Fridays yep. as well I oh dude I got one of their hoodies Mm-hmm. So comfortable. Mm-hmm. I need to get one of those. Oh, I was good. I was about to compliment you on that. I like, oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah, uh, they were on our show two weeks ago. Oh. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the yeah the guys behind State Forty Eight. Uh, in fact, uh, you can check them out at State Forty Eight dot com. Just spelled out, just like it is right nice there. Nice um, I ordered a shirt and a uh, decal for the back of, for my car window. Yeah, Very I haven't gotten cool. it yet. <laughs> really? When did you order yours? I don't. I don't remember. What What day did I say? What day did I tell you? It was the day before that. Because I did mine <laughs> Sunday, and it just shipped out e- today. Actually, oh, and geez. I got it today. So. Wow. <laughs> well, there's okay. they're local, so yeah, yeah. It's, it's he's good. He's came hand delivered when they came onto the show. So I mean, oh, nice. Matt, <laughs> Matt's got a, Matt's got like kind of like a mafia relationship. With you, got him. Some, you got some pull there. Yeah. Huh? All right. They're like, oh, so you want. <laughs> oh, so you want the State 48 shirt, huh? <laughs> oh, that's great. I just got the <laughs> hat the other day. Oh. It's a good hat. <laughs> Is that the one you're wearing right now? I didn't no. see the front of it. So, okay. Never mind then. Well, at first, don't worry about it. Don't worry you about get it. the shirt. Yeah, yeah. He's only taking it on special hat. occasions. Yeah. Oh, there's our unofficial intern, <laughs> there's Sammy. <me>. Hi. <laughs> there's somebody waiting for you back there. <laughs> No, Devin. Are you trying to do the Batman oh, did voice? She no, she Devin's did outside having a smile. Oh, outside, well, dude. that was totally ruined. That was almost a good Batman voice. Oh, see now, oh, you've got competition now. I'm showing up for this tryout, <laughs> Eric. You, you, you got room for a fat flying fox, right? Maybe we can do. The, <laughs> we can do the flying fox returns. Oh, all right, there we go. <laughs> I'd be like, the, yeah, yeah. I'm back. <laughs> What the fuck happened you to you? You donut. <laughs> I left her. My girlfriend left me. I grew a beard and took eight years off. And then I just started eating donuts. You're not even wearing the costume. Why are you doing the voice? <sighs> the costume doesn't I got in an accident. <laughs> Someone decided, thought it'd be funny to put a blender and mix all rocks and then give me a smoothie. <laughs> Assholes. So now I always talk like this all the time. It's pretty good. I like, I, it. I like it. I back that. I got more, too. Oh, <laughs> keep it coming. Keep them coming. So, um, <clears throat> I'm so excited. <laughs> <laughs> so, this really does look pretty damn awesome. So, uh, tell us where we can find this stuff on the web. You, you you've got some different it websites at, and at a couple of different venues. Um, let me get them for you. <laughs> One, we're on the Twitter, it is at ZC Series. ZC series. ZC series. Zero complex series. We do have a Facebook. It's at facebook.com zero complex the web series. And uh, we have our own website, and that's www.zerocomplex.tv. All right. And all of those locations have links to the uh, the Kickstarter. Yes, sir. But you could also find just by going to kickstarter.com and searching Zero Complex uh, because the actual web address directly to it is pretty long. And, and I'm looking at it right now. I'm like, yeah, nobody, yeah. nobody's going to remember that. Just, just go, go to, to Kickstarter, Kickstarter type in Zero Complex. <laughs> you're going to find us right there. And uh, go just even if you only got a buck to throw at it, throw a buck at it because that helps. Not only yes. does it get the buck in there, but it also the more people that actually back it, the Pushes better chance up. you get to the front page where yeah. p- other people who aren't maybe on your Facebook page. Like right now, it's uh, you know it's more local stuff. It's more like For kind sure. of the small group. Exactly. You haven't gotten that viral impact yet, and that's that's and how you even do if it. you can't fund us or back us, just share us. Yeah. Sharing helps. Immensely, yes, I don't think it's said enough how much sharing pushes up mm-hmm. visitation, oh, pushing yeah. up that. Oh yeah. So, well, yeah. like I said, I I saw it because I didn't see it naturally. I saw it from Annabelle posting something, and like, because I'm friends with hers, because she shared it or, or linked to it or something like that. And I was like, exactly. oh, what's this? Mm-hmm. So that's the kind of thing that you want to do. So go out to their Facebook or Twitter or Kickstarter page or website and share it to your Please friends and say, do. hey, everybody. I, I will have out. to ask this. I'm on the Facebook page right now. Uh, who did the artwork? We, we have concepts. two fantastic artists. One is named is Evan Sprague. The other is Stephen Felia. Uh-huh. They are, um, are both um, up and coming artists. Uh, one is uh, both of them have basically been, um, more angled towards the superhero uh, drawing arts. 
Um, but one is also into commercial pop art as well, and that'd be uh, Evan Sprague. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, it's some really cool stuff. Looking at the, um, you can also see a lot more of it on the Kickstarter page itself. There's a lot of uh, the individual character shots and stuff like that. Yes. So a lot of fun stuff to check out there. It's not just a not just a page begging for money. It's also got some, yeah, some, got some got good some stuff, cool stuff for stuff, it too. So go We've ahead. got content. Come on. We've got content. Go can ahead. Do, can you do a breakdown of the characters? Yeah, yeah. Um, so Zero Complex is based around two competing schools. One is called UTech, which is kind of an analog to a school that's prominent here in Arizona. And, you can plug it if you want. Anyway, uh, University of Advancing Tech. <laughs> and forward. the other competing school would be um, Rollins, which is... <laughs> <laughs> Which, we have no idea what that might I'll be. I'll let you, <laughs> smart viewers, listeners, Rollins. come up with that. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I knew somebody who graduated from the from the the real one that you're talking about. Yes. And I, I mean, they were a great guy and everything, but uh, I had to fire him from Dunkin' Donuts. I'm sorry. <laughs> he just wasn't Dunkin' Donuts material, so sorry. That's understandable. Well, wait a minute. That sounds like a backstory for him to become a supervillain now. Exactly. <laughs> He's the donut eater. I don't know what that... You uh, have destroyed me for the last <laughs> time, Eric. That's a great one. There we go. I just saw the clown guy. I'm kind of all like, I'm. I do this. Yeah, uh, I like <laughs> it. Keep it going. You've already got these voices in your head. I like yeah, it. I'm just. I don't know about the women though. I don't know if I can pull that off. Yeah, give me a siren, quick. Yeah, you'll never know unless you try. <laughs> so, uh, like, I don't know if I can go out <laughs> tonight. Not, wait, that's not the blonde one. <laughs> I don't know who's who. <laughs> You're Anyways, I don't know if I could go out tonight and do superheroing, but I gotta get like a medi pedi, and it's this week has just been horrible. <laughs> wow, I'll, I could watch that. I could listen to that all all day. <laughs> So, but thankfully, we don't. We've got yeah, other what, things what's going the on. breakdown on these characters? So the breakdown on these characters is we have kind of analogs to established superheroes that are kind of known throughout Marvel and DC. Okay. So we have our Superman analog. His name is Helios, who is a sun god. Uh-uh. You know? I was, I was going to say, it's like, oh, Helios, sun, got yeah. it. All there right. you go. All right. okay. um, we have Flying Fox, who's kind of our analog towards Batman and Iron Man. Okay. Um, we have Zonia, who's the Amazonian warrior, who, of course, would be an analog towards Wonder Woman. Um, Vex Vortex is kind of a mixture between Lex Luthor and Doctor Doom. I, okay. okay. I'm seeing a little Magneto in the, yeah, uh, in the face a little mask bit of well. Just a little bit. Little. And the cape. He's got a cape going kind of yeah. like Magneto. I actually I like, like it because he's like wearing like, like a suit. On that. Yeah. Yep. And Siren, who's kind of a, a, a mixture between Lady Death from the 90s Bad Girl era. Okay, that's, yeah. Uh, and Psylocke from the X-Men. Oh, Ooh, good and, um, Nice. You know, we have the Blue Bolt, who's kind of the analog towards the sidekick Robin mm. towards Flying Fox's Batman. Okay. Okay. So we have all these, these analogs to these characters. And basically what it is is these kids who go to UTech are not necessarily the, the ideal candidate to be those characters that they choose to play it as. But that's what they want. They wish they could be that. Right. So these character, these kids, the characters that we follow are these uh, college students who who wish they could um, be those characters. And what happens is um, we go, we we follow them through the a day in the life of a, a cosplay event, and they're trying to compete as a team for the best costume and show in the masquerade. Mm-hmm. And they fail miserably at it because. Uh, one of the principals, um, Devin, who's one of the students who's, who dresses up as the Flying Fox character, um, bought his suit instead of making it. Because in the cosplay um, community, it's a big no-no to compete if you did not make your own uh, costume. But he is you know, not – he's, he's following the hero's Hold journey on, of becoming the, the hero. Yeah. So he's actually kind of stumbling. As, you know, you, you were, we're going to watch, watch him become a hero. So he's an underdog. He's All of them are That's underdogs. That's me. Okay. I, well, all of right. them are underdogs. <laughs> Got this. So you know, what happens is, is they, they get disqual- ah, disqualified, disqualified from the, the event. They are walking out of the parking lot in shame, and they see another comic fan cosplayer being mugged by a group of thugs. Well, they decide to take it upon themselves to stop that mugging. Hilarity ensues, ensues, and then we follow the story from there. I like this. I can just imagine how it goes, Hey, you! What? Stop! (laughs) (laughs) Stop it! You're a bad man! You know, and um, going back to the Kickstarter, if we get funded, we haven't even let, you know, 
announced some of the secret casting that we already have who are name actors. Oh, nice. Yeah, mm-hmm. So, Mark Hamill. If you, <laughs> I think he's a little busy now. I think he's Might doing be. something in London. Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Dang. Know, something was with, you know. Jane Silent Tom Bob Strike Back too. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cockknocker. Cockknocker's Revenge. Cockknocker's Revenge. But yeah, so I, I mean, know Kevin Smith was like, I'm taking that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> He's welcome to have it. Yeah, I'm like, son of a bitch. <laughs> you say it and Kevin cashes another check. It's just the way it goes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's actually the name of my first comedy album. <laughs> you know, I would really like him to finish some of the comic books that he wrote. That's what I I've been. Yeah, I want him to finish that, that Winding dark, Gyro. Yep. And uh, he did another Daredevil series called Hard Target. Yes. And he never, he did he one issue. It. Yeah. I was still in my 20s when that happened. <laughs> I'm an old man. It's like, hey, Kevin Smith, stop being a fat, lazy slob and do something. Yeah. He's like, I am. Put the pipe down and do something. Oh, wait. No, he's making how many different podcasts and a movie and TV shows? Oh, he just got done with a movie, and now he's filming yeah, another Tusk movie. Yeah, Tusk. Tusk. Yeah, Tusk. Yeah. I, it's Husk or Tusk or something like that. And then uh, now he's going to do Clerks. Three? Yeah, he's Clerks mm-hmm. Three. After um, he's doing a Krampus movie, though, is he? Yeah, and I know he's doing a hockey movie. Yeah, actually, the hockey movie became a hockey series? series. Like it was funny because he wanted to split <laughs> it up into two movies. He's like, I don't know if I can do this. And then he's like, Out of all the ideas that someone gives me, it was Jay Muse that goes, Why don't you make it a mini series? I'm like, Where the fuck did this genius come from? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now it's, it's funny though. Now I've just seen the guy with the like the mask on his face, the mm-hmm. uh, thing, and all I can think is Bane. <laughs> oh, hello there. Oh, I love that. <laughs> hello there. Shitty of people of Gotham, take back your freedom. I just love that. I, I can't get hello enough there. Of that. Hello there, flying fox. <laughs> I see you live in Phoenix. <laughs> I will take over Phoenix. I will make it cold. <laughs> That actually be pretty nice. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> not what I planned. Well, yeah, on. okay, yeah. This Bane guy is pretty cool. Yeah. He's gonna make it cold here. Son of a bitch! That's not He's my actually plan. a hero. Yeah, it's like it's, no. just, it's snowing. That's awesome. All right, Bane. Fantastic. Go, he comes home. His dad's like, I'm very disappointed in you. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I the only one that talks like this in the family? You're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> we, we weren't gonna tell you, but we're so disappointed in your lack of evilness right now that. Uh, it's time. It's time you knew. <laughs> Everyone's crying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everybody's sad. Um, so, uh, Matthew, do you have some uh, some tunes for us to, to take a break? I think of course I do. Well, why don't we go ahead and uh, cut out to a break. Okay. Uh, have you play a little music for us, and uh, we will be back in just a little while to uh, go over some of the fans' answers to our socially awkward question this week. Awesome. All right. We might make it, but we might not. That's the truth. No matter what we have here, can you forgive me? Or can you not? Just forget I said anything. Let's make 
once you and I get out of your fast. Thank you. 
flames They can't be all just what I say They can't be all just what I believe They can't be all just another dream But I believe I believe in revolution It's just a hidden tragedy Stare at the sun and talk to me Gentlemen, this is something they call a groundbreaker. So let me first apologize to the shots and the ties for your makeup. Cause I make you ugly as soon as it drops. We're on a rampage, bottles popping up before you know where this rebel and us this will be pushing it up. Somebody say, You better run. Yeah. I'm going to take the Ladies and gentlemen, what you're about to witness is no illusion. And now we got the bass banging from head to Buckingham Palace. They're all moving. Hey Simon, working them up, turning them psycho. Everybody rock, let's bring the house down. To rubber and up, cause we'll be pushing it up. Somebody say, you I predict an earthquake up in here. Say yeah. I predict an earthquake up in here. Cause we throw bombs on it, throw bombs on it. Just smash something. Yes, much for me. Hey, yes. We can make an earthquake up in here. So here we go, we go. Hey, Olapa. 
This one's feeling like a straight 10 on the Rick scale, you know? Yeah! Fire, fire! We, we about to set this place on fire Without a match or light, I don't do girlfriends One night is make him see my not If I want Christian or Kurt Geiger I just phone up the designer Doing all nighters, no days off Great hairs and a little bit of weight loss I predict, I predict, I predict, I predict Disturbing London got the whole city panicking I've been Australian, this my nip, 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 nip And we are back. Thanks so much for hanging out during the break with us. We appreciate it. Um, our guests did have to uh, take off. They've actually got some promotional work to do because they are going to be uh, presenting for free comic book day out at Gotham City Comics. So if you're in the Phoenix area, don't forget that free comic book day is tomorrow. Uh, so go out and visit your local comic book shop, pick up a free book, and hey, buy some stuff too while you're at it. Yeah, definitely check it out. It goes for a great cause too. Uh, it's just to get kids into reading, so free comic books. And they actually, this year, have a... Actually, I just promoted... Uh, not promoted, just reposted uh, Stan Lee's message about free comic book day, so definitely check that out. And yep. what, um, Are there like specific ones that come out? On yeah, they have specific... It's like, they have, it's like Record Store Day? Yeah, but they have a lot, like, for the free comic book day. Like, it's a yeah, lot. Yeah, if you want to get the whole set, you pretty much have to hit, like, every comic book store in town because they all have a different one. Oh, yeah. But, so, yeah, go so. basically go to www.freecomicbookday.com and then type in your address, like, your zip code, and they'll go ahead and show you all the stores that are participating in it. So, so yeah. like, what's some of the big ones that are like, oh, you better get them or else they're going to... They're not going to be there. Well, right. they do a lot of ones for the kids. Like they got some Teen Titans, they got some Adventure <laughs> Times, they got some regular show ones going on like that. Right There's on. also for the adults as well. But they, I think they do have some like some Spider Man, some X Men ones that are coming out. Uh, they have one that Marvel is reintroducing a character that hasn't been around for a while. I think his name is Dupe. Uh, is going to be a big one that's coming out for a free comic book day. So um, I guess he's being reintroduced into the Marvel Universe. It's like this weird kind of creature thing or whatnot. Um, I think he can go platform through different universes is like mm -hmm. his concept. So I don't know oh. if he actually crosses path in other Marvel universes huh. and stuff like that. Might but yeah, cool definitely check, check that out. So yeah, I think they're going to have a bunch. And I think they're probably doing a lot of Batman stuff as well because it is the 75 years of Batman. Yeah. Uh, which I think is in his actual birthdays is in <clears throat> July. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's like a couple of days before mine, Ben. Have you participated Ooh. in this in the past? I did it last year. Uh, me and the uh, the person I was with at the time, we went ahead and hit a couple. That's when we had that little snafu where we had to <laughs> rectify some stuff but uh, with flyers. But yeah, we did check out a couple of different comic book stores. Um, yeah, definitely check out. I would say Samurai Comics is a big one that participates in it. Um, yeah. I'm trying to remember one. They got, they got three locations in the valley, I think. Yeah, one is definitely the they one that I know of is by Bookman. East side and then like a north side. It's on, I think, <laughs> Country Club and yeah, Southern. Yeah, the one on this side of town is Country Club and Southern. It's where the Atomic Comics used to be. Yeah, the Atomic <laughs> Comics used to be, but it's also where um, Bookman's is yes. across the way. So definitely check that out. I think Bookman's might even be participating in it. Um, I'm not sure. If they're not participating in that, they're going to be doing something, I'm sure. Oh, that's right. That's going on as well as the uh, the AMCA uh, comic book uh, thing is actually a big thing going on at Samurai Comics as well and Bookman's where they're oh, going right. to have local artists there drawing and stuff. So yeah, go ahead. Got nothing new tomorrow. If you're not going to go see The Amazing Spider Spider-Man 2 uh, tomorrow. Go ahead and check out Free Comic Book Day, kids. So yeah. is it like one thing where you have to get there early? Um, yeah, because I usually think... usually have a pretty good stock. I know I talked to people last year who went in the early afternoon and were still able to get Yeah, that's what, that's what they, I Because they do limit. You, you, don't, you can't go and be like, okay, I'd like my stack of books, please. And like, it's usually like two or three per person. Well, I just... So... I relate it to Record Store Day. Like, I, I went out this year on Record Store Day, which was on April 20th. Mm -hmm. Um... And I got there too late. Uh oh. And I missed all the. Uh, you assume that people would be sleeping in or staying home because no. it was 420? No, I. <laughs> 
I I knew I was supposed to get there early to get exactly what I wanted, like Childish Gambinos, mm-hmm. because the internet came out on vinyl. Nirvana had a Nirvana. Um, there's a bunch of like limited limited pressings that only were coming out this day. Right. And I just I didn't get out there in time. So yeah, I will say just this, curious. I will. I'm almost becoming Kevin Smith. Where we're going to have to start yelling at Toby during <laughs> shows. <laughs> Toby. Um, <clears throat> I will say this. Yeah, no, definitely check it out. Um, Like Eric was saying, yeah, you can get hit there like even the mid-afternoon. It all depends, though, because I don't know. This year might seem like it's bigger than last year. Well, uh, each, I think there's been more... There's grow, definitely I mean, been more uh, publicity for it this year. This year I've seen so. more stuff from more places <clears throat> promoting it, so I think more people will know about it. So I, I would recommend going out in the morning. I mean, there's no reason... Especially here in Phoenix. I mean, you don't want to be outside in the afternoon anyway. Well, I'm not going to do it. I'm just, so, <laughs> I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm, I would I'm recommend... Intrigued. The one but, thing I would say, though, even if you're not into comic books, uh, it, it's a free comic book, so... Go visit your local comic book store, grab a book or two, and donate them to Critical Care Comics. I was say go, to, go to criticalcarecomics.org, check out what we're all about. We take these comic books and we deliver them to kids in the hospital. So go go get your free books, and even if you don't want them... Are you going? I'm going to try to hit a few, yeah. Well, if you go, just grab a couple for me, <laughs> and then donate them for me. All right. I, 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 plan, no on, uh, I plan on hitting a couple. We, I've actually got Ranking some recording like to do in the morning, now. and then... Uh, I I hope to I head out in the afternoon. Uh, I don't know. There's long no, but I'm saying like yours. I'm like I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna get them and I'm gonna keep them. Fuck oh, kids. <laughs> my my plan was to to get any and read them and then donate them to Critical Care. Comics. Also, so. I think next week's I think next week's socially awkward question should be should Steve be uh, the flying fox. Well, so. since since we'll have uh, <laughs> since we'll have Paul in from uh, from Zero Complex, uh, he'll be the one to ask that. So cool. <laughs> he's the actu- he's uh, one of the the co creators. We, we were hoping to have uh, the other co creator, uh, <clears throat> Steve Briscoe, in. Yes, but uh, he was the one who couldn't make it for scheduling arrangements. But uh, Paul is like the the head lead guy, and he's going to be with us next week. So we'll be talking some more about uh, about Zero Complex and the Flying Fox and all that here in. Uh, here shortly. Yeah. So, um, but speaking of web series, web series, we do have a question of the week. It's time for the socially awkward question of the week. Brought to you by... Did we do Raven? We haven't done Raven yet. Brought to you by Raven Cruise <laughs> Designs. No, I won't do it like that. Uh, <laughs> people actually want to hear. But yes, uh, if you have a kick at... If you want a logo done and you want somebody to do it and you want to give it some, uh, you know, flair, pizzazz, check out uh, Raven Designs. Illustrations and designs that fit your personality. For samples and inquiries, visit ravencruise.com. And if you want to see a sample of her work, you can always go to uh, the 4i Radio uh, store and check out some of the shirts that we got. We're on coffee mugs, which I just got my coffee mug last week, and it works phenomenal. Yeah. Oh, and speaking of our uh, Spreadshop shirt, if you go to fern.spreadshirt.com right now, Spreadshirt just starting today, as a matter of fact, and only going through the 8th. They are doing a special. You can, if you purchase thirty dollars or more in merchandise, you get five dollars off. Just use the code five off three thirty. So it's the number five O F F three zero, and you'll get five bucks off your thirty dollars purchase or more. So hey, help us out. Help yourself out. Go buy some shirts or uh, a baby onesie or a water bottle or yeah. You know, I, I put I put Wait, the logo we got, on. We got a lot of water bottles. Yeah, That'd be yeah. It's a, one you of those. You would be kind of classy mm-hmm. at Phoenix Comic Con as we all have a water bottle. Up yeah, there. yeah. I, I was thinking about ordering one. I haven't yet because I've got seven T-shirts. So uh, do they have flasks? <laughs> uh, they didn't have flasks. I was shocked actually I because know. I would have ordered a flask. I definitely would have. Uh, but you could use the the water bottle is stainless steel. It's oh, a stainless okay. steel oh, water okay. bottle, not a plastic one. So you could use it for uh, booze as long as you'd have to really sneak it in carefully because I think they do check at the door. If well, you have- to be honest, you're going to have to sneak it in, into the door. And what better way to do it with a fern uh, yeah. thing? So because we, caught, because the- for our show, we have nothing planned. We won't have any guests. So we will be doing the very <laughs> first socially awkward live drinking game. <laughs> be like, okay, who brought booze? Who brought the hooch? Because that's what we need right now. Um, 
Yeah, it ought to be fun. But uh, so, so our socially question. awkward question of the week. Since we were talking web series, we decided to ask you, our listeners, our great fans out there, what is your favorite or if you don't have a favorite yet or if there's something out there that you're anticipating, what is your most anticipated web series? Uh, we did get quite a few good answers. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, since we only got one on the Twitters, I don't know. Hey, Twitter people, what's up, man? Seriously. But we did get a great answer on the Twitters from at Cinema OTR. That's Ziggy, my co-host over on Her Majesty's Secret Podcast. Check us out every other Monday Monday on the uh, Four Eyed Radio Network. We talk about all things James Bond. He said, "The Collectibles, Glitch, and Chop Sucky Boom, <laughs> uh, all very interesting titles." And uh, actually, he has reviews up of these web series and links to where you can watch them on his website. So just go to cinemaontherocks.com, and you can uh, easily find all of those locations. Uh, the Collectibles, Glitch, and Chop Sucky Boom. Um, I've actually uh, checked out Glitch a little bit. It was pretty awesome. So I, I will say that one. That's the only one of those three that I've checked out. But uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So, turning to Facebook, we got a response from our great sponsor, Raven Cruz. She said, Fallout Nuka Break. Oh, something? yeah, I got into that. Yeah, oh, okay. It's, really, it's, like, a, it's about, uh, it's, a, it's basically, um, I only, oh, I'm trying to think. I think I've seen season one and season two. Mm-hmm. She's going to correct me if I'm wrong. Um, <laughs> but uh, we watched it here. She got me into it, actually. Uh, it's about, uh, it's a Fallout 3 series. It's a spoof off of that. And, okay. but I would have to say the makeup on like the, the ghouls that are in the game, which are like the zombie kind of characters or whatnot are really good in it. Uh, very funny written show. And it's funny to see that, like, this is what we've been saying about comic book movies. It's like when you have somebody who's passionate about somebody and can actually put forth the effort and actually do stuff, you can actually get some pretty wicked, uh, web series. I would highly recommend this one. Even though you don't play the Fallout game series, I still think you'd get a kick out of it. It's basically a, pay, a post-apocalyptic, uh, world that okay. takes place. So it's, it's funny though. It's great. I like it. I'll definitely have to check it now out. I'll have to go see if there's any more shows out. <laughs> Uh, we did get a response also from Aaron Gallo, our uh, good friend over at the Starfleet Escape podcast. Check them out every other Monday when uh, the Her Majesty's Secret podcast isn't on. You'll find Star Trek, the uh, uh, Starfleet Escape podcast instead. Uh, and he said, big surprise, I guess I'll go with Star Trek Continues. <laughs> Is that his? <laughs> uh, no, no. <he'd laughs> Star Trek Continues is the one with... Uh, uh, who is it? Grant Amahara is in it. And, I don't know uh, why I wanted to say Alan Aldrin, but... What? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, it does have... Um, uh, who does it have? It has uh, Chris Duhan. S- Scotty's kid. Who's Scotty? Oh, fuck you. Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> Scotty doesn't know. <laughs> All right. And uh, on Facebook, we also got a response from our friend Joshua Silverman, who was here on the show last week. Uh, he said, personally, I'm not a huge fan of web series as they've never been able to hold my attention. That being said, I'm super pumped for Zero Complex, which I'm hoping gets funded, which is funny because he wrote that without knowing who we were having as the guest oh, really? on, yeah, on the funny. show. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Wow. That's like, cool. I was like, oh, hey, you know, our guests in studio are going to be real happy to hear that. He's like, oh, really? You guys? Are you? <laughs> yeah, he was, he was like, oh, wow. Um, so, yeah. So we got somebody out there who's pumped for Zero Complex. Very so cool, uh, very cool. definitely go out there and get them funded. Um, and then we did also turn to the Reddits to see what they wanted to say about web series. I figure, you know, people who spend 99% of their life online probably know a thing or two about web series. I would say this. Reddit is basically, if you're a Redditor, you're the internet. <laughs> oh, what are you saying? Dude, um, no. <laughs> you, you are not a Redditor. Okay, I'll put it this way. They're, I know Redditors... And they know, they'll know shit before it even is posted. That's how internet they are. You're just like, wait, I'm just, what? I'm just plugged in to the they're matrix. Just, I can just yeah, it's like Bender it from Jacking On. It's like that's how they're like. They just they 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 know the no, you know. <laughs> Bender, are you Jacking On in there? <laughs> Shut up! Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, we got uh, we got some good responses though. So uh, looking at <laughs> username quit Stalin and be mine. Like mine, like mine Kampf. I don't understand that, but oh yes, the Germans. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what? my favorite web series is Hitler is back. It's a sitcom. Oh, and Stalin is like you know Stalin. So I, I get it. I, I get where they're going with this now. Okay, uh, he you said know, you know, he or she, who knows? Me and Hitler, me and <laughs> Stalin on internet, have a great you know act on on Broadway. Every <laughs> time he's outside to the stage, I'm like, hey Stalin, quit Stalin. Ah, we are Germans. Yeah. Um, well, anyway, quit stalling and be mine. Said bravest warriors. It's I don't think I've one, heard of that one. Yeah, no, sounds interesting. Getting blank looks around the table. All right, I'll get into it. 
All right. We right have uh, user a chalky biscuit said llamas with hats. Oh my god, I love llamas with hats. If you've not seen llama with hats, <laughs> oh have, my god, I have no idea what. Carl, llamas with hats. <laughs> why did you murder those people? Which is because amusing they kept because eating everything. Somebody replied to a chalky biscuit uh, with just Carl. <laughs> I was like, is that a Carl? Walking Dead reference? What, Carl, what's, what what's in this, uh, uh, what does he say? What's in this life raft? It looks like blood. Would you believe it's bubblegum? Carl! <laughs> Uh, it's funny. It's a little flash animation thing. Oh, They're okay. like not that long. So and right. then he does a bunch of other ones. Like there's other one where he sends like an elephant to hell. The sign. Oh god, they're just <laughs> they're so ridiculous. I highly right. recommend it. All right, I'll check it out. Llamas with hats. I, I totally forgot about that series. All Thank right. you. <laughs> uh, let's see here. We got user Inumunu. Is that he's he's uh, Inuyasha's long lost brother? Okay, all right. Um, and he walks around with his ass hanging out all the time because he's mooning you. Anyway, he said red versus blue. Of wow, course. that's a good one. Yes. Okay. What's a halo? Um, we also got another vote for a red versus blue from Hey Nico B. I would say my favorite character on Red versus Blue is uh, Caboose. Evidently, they just released their first episode of the twelfth season yeah, of Red vs. Blue uh, this past Monday. And Sarge, oh, dude, no! If you haven't, if you play, well, you don't play Halo, but if Matt, I don't know, do you play Halo, Matt? Mm. Have you ever seen Red vs. Blue? Uh, I've heard about it. I haven't seen. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I just love it with like this is the warthog. Why are you calling it a warthog? Because it's, it's the only animal we got. What about a puma? A puma's pretty fast. Damn it! Quit making up animals. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Uh, okay then. Uh, user Funt Case said cracked after hours. Don't think I've seen that one. No, no. Blank looks around the table. All right, might have to check it out. Oh, here's a good one. Uh, Loki, God of Chaos, says tabletop from obviously Will Wheaton and uh, company. Um, Loki, God of Chaos. Wow, that that's, uh, the, that's the username. You username Loki, God of Chaos. Ah, uh, sounds very familiar. <laughs> Anyways, keep going. <laughs> Uh oh. Um, yeah, uh oh is right. Anyways, wow. All right. That'd have been so. pretty good on the podcast. Then. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, so blocked. All right. Um, anyways. <laughs> wow. Don't. I'm just kidding. No. I'm taking the high road. Hell, I'm going to be flying fox. I'm going to be a superhero soon. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Amy. Okay. Um, all right. We got a response from Nobulus Ultima. Who said RWBY and Achievement Hunter Let's Plays? I love Achievement Hunters. They're actually the guys who do Red versus Blue. If you ever need help finding a trophy or achievement that you do not know how to get, you can check them out and they will help you either show you the good way to do it or how to cheat to how to get the achievement you want. So <laughs> oh, there if you're you an achievement whore like me, and sometimes you just like, how do I get this last achievement? Check out those guys. I'm giving you plugs. Give me something. All right, then. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, user Fast Quicks said Key and Peel is hilarious. Mm. I, yeah, I yeah, love okay. Key and Peel, which is and funny because Sammy did not recognize that I believe Keen. See the taller guy, Key Michael. Key he was actually Keegan. on an episode of How I Met Your Mother. Yes, he was. Yes, he was. I love it. that. Was the knowledge Liam bomb Wilson. exploding on you? I love that one. That was like my favorite skit. Oh no, you did! He just goes running inside the building and then comes back out. <laughs> yeah, it's Keegan, Mike, and Key, and then Jordan Peele. Yeah. Also, the hat one was pretty funny. It was like, you know, people if they have the hat on and they got the tag, you're just like, damn man, this is so cool. So they're trying to upstage each other with the hats, and then finally the one guy walks out and he literally has a woman on top of his head, like yeah. constructing the hat, and the other guy's like, damn. Yeah, that it's, one's it's good. It's really well written. All right, Sorry. I'll take your word for it because I don't know. Um, here's one that I'm not sure if is legit because it just seems like a weird name for a show about this. But uh, user Lego My Ego One Zero One Zero said, "Life Behind Bars." It's a mountain biking web series. No, I don't think I've seen, heard of that one. Hmm. That's doesn't that that name does not match up with that topic. No, it does. Life Behind Bars. Yeah, behind Life bars. Behind bars, bars. But that's Behind Bars dude, is in jail. Dude, do you even Behind extra- Bars means Butt rape. No, that would be I'm getting butt rape behind bars. That's the other web series. <laughs> maybe oh, it's man. maybe it's mountain bikers who don't use seats. I think it's I think <laughs> it could have multiple things. It could be uh, Life Behind Bars could be a jail. If I Googled series. Life Behind Bars what? and was looking for like life series, I would expect like mountain bikes or what, what I, about this? I don't li- see that. What about this Life Behind Bars and its entire web series about monkey bar champions? 
could do that. <laughs> Life behind bars. It could be about bartenders, bartenders. <laughs> yeah, or <yeah>. bar owners. <laughs> no. There's a lot. There's no. lots of different things. It's jail. Of That's that. all it is. It's only jail and nothing more. Shush. My Hi. uncle's really into <laughs> mountain biking. He might know about it. There you go. Find out. I'll have to ask him. Ask him. Be like, hey, uh, you ever watch Life Behind Bars? He's like, why you want me to go to jail? No. <laughs> no, dude. You're not going to win on this. <laughs> yeah, you're not. It's two against one. Behind bro. bars means in jail. That's and what by, it means. And Eric, by two against one, guess what? Tonight, you're going to be behind mm-hmm. bars. That's messed up, man. Don't drop the soap. I'm not playing that game again. I lost last time. No way. No way. This game is rigged. Don't play with me. I always win. <laughs> yeah, he does. Damn though it. if, uh, <laughs> though if uh, um, Hearthstone was uh, like golf, I'd be winning. <laughs> Hearthstone. It's a good game. It's, it's a great fun game. game. It's in awesome fact, game. I, let's just wrap up and we'll just all play Hearthstone. <laughs> let's we'll just, we'll just, just all play Hearthstone. We'll, we'll broadcast. Instead of, instead of doing, uh, instead of Cards Against <laughs> yeah. Humanity, we'll do Next a live broadcast. Have to, like, you have to install Hearthstone right now. Just, yeah. just install it. <laughs> just do it. While we're talking. By and the then, time we get there, yeah, you'll be able to play Yeah, when we get to the end, play, we're going to play that. No, but then you have to play the tutorials first. Oh, I hate that. I was like, I had to play like eight games before. I'm like, okay. That guy was a bitch. That last guy. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. No. I did beat him on the first time, though. Not a not a little bit. He was a bitch. Because you're, like, doing, ass, you're doing good, and then he's all him. like, Oh, look what I can do. It's like, of he course dropped he that, do that. He's dropped that 12 attack, 12 God, dude on you that yeah. like kills every... Like, he puts him out, and it kills everybody else on the thing, and you're like... I had, ooh, I had like six freaking minions out. So and all created, of them were like full health, and then I they would drop like this the one new, thing. Uh, like web series <laughs> is uh, is us playing that. That's so about it. three I, idiots playing Hearthstone. All right, I like it. Let's do it. I found a Hearthstone podcast. <laughs> oh, did you? Oh. They're so <laughs> they already beat us. It's Damn it! Called, it's called the Angry Chicken, and it's re- <laughs> it's really good. Is it? Is it really? It's really good. Is it better right. than us? <laughs> oh, it's better than anything we. No, no, no. I need that. to know because we'll listen Ouch. to it and then go. Okay, how can we get to close to that standard? Okay. I'm not saying beat that standard. I'm saying at least get. Are they like affiliated with Blizzard? They're not strictly affiliated with it, but they have close ties. Okay, so, so they've they, got I mean, the in. They've been doing. They've been doing like StarCraft and uh, okay. World of Warcraft, and so so they, they know the world. Like this they, is my first. Like know, I know that World of Warcraft exists. They know but the that's the closest I've it. gotten to it. <laughs> but it's called the Angry Chicken. Check it out. It's good. Okay. <laughs> so I'm plugging them. You guys are welcome. All right. Thanks, I guess I won't Matt. start. I guess I won't start my uh, aggravated hen podcast. Uh, <laughs> aggravated. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> aggravated hen. The aggravated hen podcast. We have no affiliation with the Angry Chicken. <laughs> and then your tagline is: "Is what came first? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I'll be the pissed off egg. <laughs> Which one came first? You don't know. You don't Actually, know. That would be my name on the show. Is pissed off. <laughs> egg. Pissed off egg. All right. Um, okay. <laughs> User V R G R twenty three burger. Burger23 says, half in the bag. No? Never heard of I it. I concluded the web address, redlettermedia.com slash half dash in dash the dash bag. Okay. So if you want to find out what that's about, I don't know. And then uh, the one that I thought we were going to get a ton of answers for, and we only got one, um, we've got from user life, a bowl of Jerry's. Life's a bowl of Jerry. Sorry, uh, that makes Life a little more sense. Life is like a bowl maybe of j- Jerry's. You never like know maybe. who you're going to eat, like Jerry Lewis, Jerry Seinfeld, uh, so Ben and Jerry's. Ben and Jerry's. That's what I was going. I was like, I was thinking ice cream. No, oh. because Life is a bowl of cherries is the thing. But then they have the Cherry Garcia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, life's a bowl what, of Jerry's. Yeah, what did they say? Said the Guild. Oh, the Guild. Oh, that's yeah, right. Uh, the Guild. I totally I love the Guild. The guild. Yeah. Love, well, Just because it's on Netflix doesn't mean it's not a web series. Off, it started as a web series. I don't. I watched I don't, it on the web. <clears throat> yeah. I don't love the Guild. I just. Love I'm not a big today. Yeah. Speaking of which, well, Felice today. I yes. need a date for Geek Prom <laughs> at Phoenix Comic Con. I'm going to be uh, flying Fox soon, so <laughs> we'll be uh, kind of in the same, you know, genre. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the. <laughs> I like the guild. <laughs> I love the guild. It's great. Actually, I love uh, the guy who plays the warrior. I've only watched there. But. He's always like trying to figure out how he can save money with doing like the like the minimum. Uh, the ball dude. Yeah. Borg. Good All stuff. right. Well, that does it for our social answers out there on the interwebs. How about you guys? You guys, obviously, I know, obviously you knew a lot of these. You knew a couple of them. So what are your favorite? Uh, Matthew. 
What's your favorite web series? Uh, Enjoy the Guild. I like SourceFed. That's not really... Well, it is a series, but they're more news-based. All right. Um, but do. it's web-based and it's oh, a yeah, series. Yeah, obviously. Um, it's like... We'll a, count it on. We'll it's our show. Uh, we can count what we want. <laughs> from the mind Dude. of Philip DeFranco. And uh, it's like one of his extensions. So uh, right. I enjoy that. And... Um, Daily Fix from IGN and like all the shit. I don't know. I watch a lot of shit on the net. Dorkly's funny. Uh, <laughs> I like how Matt's getting all like, yeah. <laughs> you're like, this you're like almost defensive about it. You're like, yeah, I watch a web series. What of it? No, I'm not getting defensive. I'm like, I'm ra- like... racking through my right. my things. Just don't get Rick rolled. Are there any that aren't out yet that you are highly anticipating that you know of? So if you don't know of them, I guess the... I, I'm, I I'm don't not, know. I'm not searching for a plug for Zero Complex. We're giving them plenty of plugs. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. Saying. But I'm intrigued by them. Yeah. All right. I like the idea. I hope they, I hope they make their, their funding goal. Yeah, well, we'll promote the hell out of it. So. Yep. Yeah, well, we'll post that link up a few more times. I'll post it from the uh, from the Facebook page and whatnot. Hopefully, uh, hopefully they can get over that hump because it's getting close to the wire. They've only got about nine days left, but... Eh, Come on, do it. it. Don't you I guys do want to see me... In a skin tight outfit. <laughs> We're trying to help. Them. I'm gonna be losing weight. Help hey, I'm losing. I'm gonna be losing weight, bro. Okay, right. I got a whole system. The system. Yeah, I got. I got. You I get got, hooked up on the I got, I got my. I got. I got two trainers helping me out, showing me how to cook. So, ladies, I'm gonna know how to cook. Also healthy too, and I'm gonna get back into shape. Look, I'll put it this way. This is a. This is a new joke I came up with. It could be funny or it could not be funny. Look, I don't have a six pack, but I also don't have a keg. What I have right now going on is one of those little mini Heineken cakes. You know, it's kind of cute, but you just gotta get rid of it. Wow, that. Matt's like, I love my kid. You need to be angry. <laughs> no, I like angry Steve on Sunday's night dude, show. I was not expecting that, dude. I was like, whoa. Steve said on Sunday, totally like, I was did not see that coming. Wow. He, he wanted new material, so. Damn. Reached into the desk. Where's, what about you? Where's the, video? where's the video? I need to see. Oh, we could play it. Oh, wait, you have it? <laughs> I have it on my phone. Dude, I, you're getting like 10 more hugs after this. I didn't think anybody took another <laughs> no, video. That's, of it. that's why I said when you, you came in. And you said something about I don't stand a comedy. We were talking about we were talking about the YouTube channel. Yeah, I, I, had no I, I had no idea. Didn't I had no idea. Didn't know. I was uh, like, oh, I got to send that to you, but I, you didn't hear me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll get it posted on the uh, social. Yeah, outlet. I put it on my own YouTube page, but we'll yeah. put it on everything else. So people yeah, can see I, I, I threw the cool. other one up on the uh, on the socially awkward one too. So people who are subscribed for the uh, podcast for the yeah exactly they'd be able to see it too. I don't know. I really like, do. I do. I know what Anyways, I'm talking about. Anyways, uh, do you want to do me and then you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go well, ahead. as as Matt said, I, I, yeah, the guild. I totally forgot the guild. Actually, two series that were not mentioned. I know one's really not. Actually, another one that wasn't mentioned. That uh, it was called like Mega sixty four. Uh, they just do a bunch of parody videos about video games, which is pretty funny. Like a guy like made like the boot from Super Mario Brothers three and was just jumping around like everywhere <laughs> and just watching people's reactions, which were pretty funny. They did one with Paperboy, where the guy was driving his car for the paper, and they just had every character in Paperboy like in the street at three o'clock in the morning, just like doing their crazy like the woman running around with like the uh, <laughs> the uh, what was it called the spatula and everything. It was, it was they're pretty funny. Um, also, I would have to say, hey Ash, what you playing? Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really I, good one. If you I'm have my favorite one is the colorblind one. I'm because subscribed to that. What I can relate to because it's just freaking hilarious with the right just the writing on that with everything. Uh, and also one that it, it was only two seasons or three seasons. Uh, I mentioned it last week. A lot of people didn't really were like, man, it's okay. Uh, Legend of Neil. Absolutely love. Thought it was freaking hilarious. And then... Um, bad, lipping, uh, bad lip reading is pretty funny. Yeah, bad lip reading. That's a, I, I don't know if I would count that as a series because they're not telling a story, but it's hilarious. Oh, well, fuck. But man, it is okay. hilarious. No, I'm going to give you... I, in fact, I just spent... Uh, I, I recently introduced my wife to bad lip reading because we've got the Chromecast at home. Right, right. So right. I was sitting there on my phone. I was like looking at somebody posted a link to one of them and i was like oh yeah bad, bad lip reading they posted yeah. the game of thrones one oh, and that, so i like i was like you have to watch hilarious. this and I, and I threw it up on the chromecast on the tv and then we ended up watching we watched that one we watched the twilight ones <laughs> oh, we watched the, the nfl ones. ones yeah oh, yeah oh, fucking hilarious a <laughs> for me <laughs> oh wow a chair is a place for you to sit <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey guys i found fido <laughs> i found fido you guys <laughs> I think the absolute best one has got to be the Ron Paul ones, though. Oh, Have you seen yeah. that one? Oh, yeah. 
because it matches up so well. You give me the so money, ridiculous. and I'll go make the zoo. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, it's so, it's so funny. It's so fantastic. And definitely, uh, I, I, yeah, I, 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 I'm going to count it. I'm going to get it's a web series now. I, Bad yeah, lip reading. It. Check oh, it out. <laughs> um, so Reckless Tortuga, they do um, online gamer, which is a series. Oh, yes. Okay. That one's really good too. And they've been doing it for a very long time. Um, a couple of other ones that are pretty funny. Uh, was it? Brental Floss. Um, his is not really a web series, but he does do the musicals about video games and stuff like that, which are pretty comical because he puts together his own music videos and all that kind of good stuff. So I will count that because he's quite hilarious. And he bitch slapped me on Twitter, which I thought was funny. Jake and Amir. Pretty oh, funny yeah. from yeah. Uh, College Humor. Yeah. All right. So, yeah. What about you? Dude? What about you, bro? For for me, I, I think my favorite that are currently out um, going to be the Guild and um, the other one with Felicia Day, uh, Doctor Horrible Sing Along Blog. Oh yeah, that, that was, was that fucking was, hilarious. Yeah. Um, as far as upcoming that I'm really excited for. Um, oh, also, you know what? What was really great but didn't last, which made me mad because he, he fucking Brent Spiner not getting enough money. Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> wow. I don't know what you're going to say. Fresh Hell. Was a was a web series that Brent Spiner was behind, and it was absolutely fucking hilarious. I I think it only ended up going like six or seven episodes or whatever, and he didn't get enough subscribers to get sponsors on to to pay for it because he was doing it com- completely out of his own pocket. Oh yeah, and then he was you know counting on okay if we get this many subscribers we'll be able to get sponsors who will pay for it to be continued as opposed to doing a Kickstarter or something like that beforehand. He he actually made a few episodes first and did it that way, mm-hmm. um, but it didn't it didn't make the enough subscribers to get the sponsors necessary to to keep it going unfortunately but it was absolutely hilarious um i just remember a web series uh the mm-hmm. daily show it's with tim daly from wings oh, okay he was the voice was like, of superman in that's the not animated. a web series that's on Comedy no, no, no. central he's it's like he's the <laughs> voice of superman in the okay. animated series and mm-hmm. his son and him are on the show you have to check it it's pretty funny because it's like him and his I'll son tell you is, that I, actually i do like tim daly oh he's I, funny oh there's a wings gr- was hilarious there's a great one is oh. wings on netflix Ness. Oh, that's the next that's a great series. one. That's the next series I'm watching on Netflix. The co-host I forgot from about Wings, that one. They played his brother comes on one of the episodes, but they do a great one where like mm-hmm. he's sitting at his house, and all of a sudden you see a guy in the background and it's Kevin Conroy, <laughs> and they start doing a Batman Superman. Oh, it's so great! It's pretty. My brother Kyle got me into it, but it's pretty great because he has his first episode. Where he's telling his son to be a little less douche. <laughs> so yeah, definitely check out that the Daily spelled D A L Y Daily Show. Awesome. And um, Nathan Fillion's on one. Oh, right on. Yeah, yeah I'll have to check that out because I do like him. So that, that ought to be cool. Uh, as far as upcoming that I'm really excited for, I really can't wait to get started. Obviously, Zero Complex. Uh, that one's recently I became excited about. Uh, but even before that, uh, the one that I've really been waiting for that I really hope uh, you know gets out there soon is Causality. That's the one with that uh, Ralph Fontaine and Glennis Mitchell are doing. Um, it sounds familiar. They had the they had a show on the previous network we were affiliated with once upon a time, podcast of the past, oh. and they do they're doing this causality web series, which is a time travel story web series, which uh, it just sounds absolutely phenomenal. And the talent they've got behind the writing and acting in this show, it sounds like it's going to be amazing. Um, I'm really hoping they they are able to get everything together and get it released soon because that one I'm really looking for. Uh, you can check out their Facebook page at facebook.com slash watch causality. I tell you to go to their website, but I went to it today and evidently they've been hacked. So Ralph and Glennis, if you're listening, <laughs> go contact your web host. <laughs> ruh, ruh. Um, ruh, I, meant, ruh. I meant I meant to hit them up on uh, I meant to hit them up on Twitter today and I forgot because I just went to look for it today because I was like, oh, I'm going to talk about them tonight and went to the website and it's all like, you've been hacked by blah, blah, blah. I was like one of those stupid fucking basically what it is is people use these stupid they they find um hacks into WordPress mm-hmm. and uh, other you know content management system sites and if you're not you know that's why I always make sure and go through and do updates as soon as a WordPress update or a Joomla update or whatever update comes up I go and put it right away because 9 times out of 10 the reason they're putting out an update is because there's been some hole found and they're patching it. Yeah. <laughs> so don't a... wait if you have one of those content management systems and you see an update's available go update. I'm telling you. Cuz also the upcoming web series I am most excited for is all oh, Waitukey. Pat and I <laughs> walk around Waitukey and interview children. <laughs> I thought it was going to be where you just go around and be like, and no. this used to be a KFC. How do you like living this here? This over ah! here. Oh, <laughs> white Doogies. That would cancel. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. 
So that's what I'd, I'd, I'd love to do a show where I just like went to my old hometown or something like that. And like went around like, see this, uh, see this KFC right here. Yeah. That used to be a, it used to be something else. Uh, I don't remember, but it Actually, wasn't I, KFC. I, to be honest see with you, safe I, way over there. that was, oh, no, that's always been a I safe I don't way. know if it'd become, a, I think it'd be more like, Hey, remember this? Yeah. Remember we fucked the chick over there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I couldn't do that Cancel. with my, my old uh, hometown, considering I left there when I was 12. So that wouldn't work. What? You didn't get <laughs> poutine when you were 11, bro? Come on. No, no. If I did Come have on. an Come interesting on. experience with an ex-friend that uh, almost counts, Come but on. it was just awkward. And uh, I don't think he remembers that either. So Come we're not going to go there. No. <laughs> I don't know what but uh, anyway, causality... That sounds like a good show. You should check that out. Yeah, that sounds Um, interesting. Sorry that your webpage got hacked. Yeah, definitely get that. I will do my best to find them. I will find them. I will find them. I will find them and hunt them down. I I can't even do it now. Now my throat doesn't want to I was waiting for the... the, No, I was going to go like... You're going going to get your webpage hacked. (laughs) I don't have a lot of money. I can't repair this website. But what I do have is a particular set of skills. particular set of skills that... Make me a nightmare for hackers like you. I will find you. I will catch you. And I will make you please repair this website because <laughs> I have no idea how to use HTML. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. Yes, yeah, that's really horrible. I, I don't know what to do. Liam but... Nielsen in I don't know IT. <laughs> Rated PG. <laughs> Liam <laughs> Nielsen in my website's been taken. <laughs> Um, that would be a horrible show and I would not watch it but uh, Causality sounds like it'd be a good one Zero Complex really sounds like it's going to be an awesome one we'll talk more about that next week as well go find their Kickstarter throw a couple bucks their way Um, I was just looking at the thing for only five bucks for only five bucks you get your name in the credits of every season one episode you get to watch an awesome web series, and then when the credits come rolling, you come up as a backer. Your name ends up showing up there. Like, hello, it's me. It's me, Mario. Did, did you just I don't become know. Mrs. Dove? But we're hello. We're hello. hello. Okay. I hear there. Yeah. Like, what, what the fuck? Is everybody? On? Can we just talk about the? Uh, can we just talk about Mrs. Doubtfire first? Because we're done here. with uh, socially awkward questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was I, all the questions. I'm sorry. Uh, this. I'm trying to think what actually came up this week that I wanted to talk about. And I remember that. Like, <laughs> I could accept Space Jam too, because I'm like, you know what? Animation's but that was, gotten that better. That was a hoax. Oh, that was a hoax. That was a hoax. There oh. is no Space Jam too. Oh. I found out. I, I found out actually later that night. We talked about it, and then I was like looking it up. I'm like, what's going on? And then like somebody posted like, it's that's a hoax. It was a somebody photoshopped. It was somebody posted it to somebody posted a Photoshop poster to Reddit, and then some other site found that poster and thought, oh my gosh, this is happening, and like posted about it. And it was never meant to. It wasn't like an active hoax. It wasn't like somebody saying, I'm going to trick people into thinking there's a. Space Jam 2. I couldn't think of the name there for a second. It wasn't anybody trying to do it. It was just somebody made a poster like, hey, this is what I'd want to have happen. And somebody else saw it and said, oh, this is happening. And like, <laughs> it went with it. The internet's a weird But yeah, place, we, we will talk about, okay, so yeah, I'm just like, Robin Williams, Did you? do you need money? Which is weird. <laughs> I thought it would have made a shit ton of money. He's because he did. Show. Well, he's got the show right now. Well, not only did he do the show, he's doing that show, but he also did uh, those Zelda commercials a while back for Nintendo because he named his daughter Zelda oh, after shit. the name of those uh, games. That's like what inspired <laughs> him to do that, which I was just like, that's amazing. Robert wait, wait, wait. I thought, I thought Zelda was the little guy in the green suit. <laughs> the worst one ever is... The, the, for just a split second, you thought I was serious, and the look in your eye was worth every second. <laughs> I know that's not Zelda. It's Link. I know. <laughs> um, what else was I trying to remember? And then, okay, Ninja Turtles. Have you seen the new trailer? Yes. I have not yet, but evidently some have noses, some don't. We, we, yeah, well, they, they released up. a brand new trailer. It adds like maybe, I think, I think the original trailer was a minute 30. I think this is like now a minute 42. But they show you a little bit more of the turtles. Now, when you see Donatello, uh, it turns around, he's got like goggles and stuff because he's got all this tech stuff. And I'm like, all right, I can deal with that. But you see him and I'm like, he looks fine. Like, he's a little bit skinnier than I think the majority of the turtles because he's kind of like the nerd, I guess, or whatnot. But his nose looks fine. Like, it looks like a normal, like, turtle nose. But then you go, then you see Leonardo again, and Leonardo, like I said before, looked fine. And then you see Raphael, but you really don't get a big picture of Raphael. You just kind of see him do the same kind of thing. But then you see Michelangelo again, it's all like, you need to fix his nose because it's like every, it's like all the turtles are having different noses. But you do get to see a little bit of splinter and. 
I kind of like the Fu Man shoe he's rocking. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What are your what are your, what are your opinions on this, Matt? I'm. I'm getting more and more excited for this. No, I am too, but I'm just really? like, I don't know wh- what they're doing with the noses. Are you going to have like turtles with different noses? Is that just what you're doing? Oh, I don't know. I mean, I got over it. Like, I got over it. I was like, okay, fine. Michelangelo, the nose looks weird. You know what? Who cares? I'm going to see the movie anyways. Let's see. Let's see what happens again. But then you see, I see Donatello. I'm like, his nose looks fine. Why don't you just do that with Mikey then? Or is Mikey like the mentally handicapped in the family? <laughs> oh. I said mentally handicapped. <laughs> the, uh, when it's turtles, they don't like to be called that. They like to be called. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Slower. Turtles. Because <laughs> turtles are already slow. <gasps> but they got to be <gasps> slower. I made another funny. I don't know. All I know is tur- okay, if you really want to win me over, just put Vanilla Ice as a cameo somewhere in the movie, and I'll be fine. <laughs> That'd be funny. Have you seen that uh, macaroni and cheese commercial with him? Yeah. yeah, I have. That's pretty legit. Anyways, that's all I got for <laughs> this movie news. All right. Spider Man 2. Has anyone seen Sp- Amazing Spider Man 2 this weekend? Probably not. I have not, and I probably won't. I didn't see the first one, the first new one. What you didn't is see it? Amazing. The, the Amazing. That that's the one with uh, Garfield? A- Andrew right? Garfield. Which sucks because yes. I would totally let you borrow it, but you don't have a Blu ray player. Ah, that's right. I'll just. Ah, it. look at me. Um, I'm <coughs> If it's out on. You know what I need to watch? I, don't I need know. to watch Captain America because I'm caught up on uh, Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it's actually gotten pretty awesome, except for the fact that, like, 90% of what's happening is reference to Winter Soldier, and mm-hmm. I don't know what the fuck's going on because I haven't seen well, Winter Soldier, Soldier yet. So I'm like. Who was left out in the snow. So Fury got killed? What? I don't know what's happening. So there's this soldier (laughs) who was left out in the cold. Oh, okay. And he becomes the Winter Soldier. Oh, right, right. He he acclimates. Yeah. He just, he, okay. He was a summer soldier and then he got, he got stuck in, you know, Alaska. Yeah, he was a summer soldier. And then he's like, I guess I'm, it's raining, man. Oh, oh, it's cold. And then he became the Winter Soldier. Came cold and bitter. Because it was raining men? Well, because he was in the summertime. He was having fun, and it was but all these men. I coming. don't understand. The why Winter Soldier's gay. You didn't know this? But why is it raining men? No, because he's a homosexual, and he was at a gay bar. <laughs> so he would have been happy about the raining men, then? Yeah, he was very happy, and then the cold came in and became the Winter Soldier. That's why he's angry. Oh, because because he finds because out. He, because all, right, all these spoilers. men came, and then it got cold, and it shrunk up. And so spoilers. that's why he's and all angry. The men, and, all the, and all the men left, and now he's alone, so he's the Winter Soldier. He's like, if only it was summertime. And it turns out that S.H.I.E.L.D. bought the place next to them and had to renovate, so that's why that place closed down. So that's why he's angry. Oh, yeah. I get it now. Oh, fucking shield. Yeah. Motherfuckers. Always be cock blocking. You should go and see the movie. Though. Yeah, it's you really got to see that movie. <laughs> I, I, do I do want, want to, to say this. I do I want will, to. I will say this. Robert Redford in it. Mm-hmm. Spoilers. I, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he did a good job. <laughs> he did a really good job. All right. Well, it's good to know. I'm fucking fantastic. I want to see I want, it. I'm not like, like I'm not watching this movie. To match this like, no, mm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm out. Shit. I'm out. Um, <laughs> I was. <laughs> That's reminded me of the guy. You ever see basketballs? Mm-hmm. You where the guy gets like he's all like, I can't wait for him to play for the Minnesota Vikings. It's like it's uh, you're playing for the Jets. <laughs> Shit, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen basketballs in a while. Oh though. god, I love baseballs. Basketball was a, it was a fun movie. It That's wasn't as good movie. as Orgasmo. Do you know why they was... made basketballs? No. Because they didn't think South Park was going to be successful. Oh really? Yeah. Interesting, <laughs> but it's such a good, such a good movie. Well, that's some- the South Park movie. Oh my gosh, I I left the theater. I watched that three times in the theater, which is something I don't do very often, especially for animated movies. And I left in pain from laughing so hard every time I went and saw it. It was oh, dude, that was such so a fucking. Great. I remember seeing that in theaters, like just so fucking good. Hey, say, oh, oh, come on, ah, come on, buddy, I'm not, I'm just fucking. It's not real. It's fake. <laughs> Why do you uh, want to make love for me from behind? Do you like to pretend that I'm someone different? Satan, your ass is huge and red. Who am I going to think you are? Liza Minnelli? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can do a lot of other stuff. Uh, I still that love that uh, the Uncle Fucker song, man. <laughs> oh, Shut yeah. your funky face, <laughs> Uncle Fucker. Yeah, uh, boner biting bastard, Uncle Fucker. Uh, just, this whole, whole movie was fantastic. I, if you haven't watched, go watch it. Yeah, it's, it's on Netflix, so there's no... Good. I just love... I even love how they make fun of themselves. 
Yeah, I didn't know if we might see the Chance of Fit movie, man. The animation's all crappy. And then they like, <laughs> jump across the screen. <laughs> oh, it, uh, no, it was, just, it was just fucking classic. But uh, Orgasmo still yeah, Orgasmo holds its place funny. for me as and their best Jenna movie. And <laughs> I think cock a- rocket stunt cock you, you think there's going to be a problem here what do you mean well, <laughs> yeah. no? we'll, we'll fix it no. in post <laughs> <laughs> I just love Matt Stone's character I don't want to sound gay or anything man but fucking Depeche Mode kicks ass I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing but I think unicorns kick ass yeah <laughs> and they just said the I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing but I'd really like to make love to you tonight yeah <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing, man. But you got a sweet ass. I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing, but I think fire is very romantic. <laughs> because oh. I am Sancho. That was it. That was are it. you Sancho? No, so, you are not Sancho. That's how I like. Nor is Scott Bayo Sancho. I love. But I. I love us. I'm Sancho. Them. So what do you do? You're hired. I'm, I'm Sancho. <laughs> and what? I am Sancho. I am Sancho. <laughs> so are you Sancho? <laughs> No, but I am Sancho. <laughs> I just love how he invokes Scott Bayo in that scene. Like, out of nowhere, nor is Scott Bayo Sancho. Yeah. <laughs> but I am Sancho. <laughs> God, if you oh, don't watch that movie again. want me to do porno, send me a sign. Send me a sign. An entire earthquake happened. Just any sign any at all. Any sign at all. <laughs> <laughs> They, they want, want us to, to do a I'll, sequel yeah. to Death of a Salesman? Yeah. But doesn't he die? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Jesus and I love you, Joe. <laughs> uh, oh, my gosh. This just evolved. We need to do just... I a, want to uh, see the Book of Mormon again. Or actually uh, see it. Yeah. It's coming to town. I've heard yeah. some of the uh, songs. 2015, 2016 season. <laughs> Was it what? It said it's coming to town in the 2015, 2016 season. Let's, let's go, guess. man. going to be a gamage. A gamage. Let's all go, man. I saw... Um, Alicia Keys at Gamage. Nice. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm like, yeah, you look at Dude, me. that's awesome. Hey, well, oh, it was a good show, too. I got dro- to dro- drop this on Matthew. What? Alanis Morissette. Ugh. Yeah. You know her? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, I, I got that. I, I, no, no, no. Well, this is what happened. is like the name sound full familiar, but I couldn't put anything <laughs> together. Like I couldn't put God. a song together. I couldn't put like a face or anything like that. Good for uh, you. Patrick, uh's wife, is a huge fan of hers. Mm-hmm. And uh, I went over there for dinner. That's the people who are... Ch- get, dude, they're getting him in shape so I can be Flying Fox. Okay. Fuck off. I'm not... No, I'm not talking to you about them. I'm talking about you about Alanis Morissette. I cannot stand that woman's voice. It's a fucking... It doesn't woman. matter. When I found out the she was a redhead... The most accurate thing in Irish all chick? of Dogma was the fact that when she opened her mouth, a man's head exploded. Canadian. Wait, am I thinking the same person? Alanis Moore says she's a brunette. She's Canadian. She's that. Isn't okay, it somebody ironic? Else. That's why everything got she listed in no, that no, goddamn no. song was that's, not ironic. It was unfortunate. No, I got her confused. No irony. I got her confused with that person. It's not Alanis Moore said. Oh, that's Who good is because shit. The only thing good I, Alanis Moore said ever did was. Dogma. I can't remember now the woman, but she's Canadian. She's a redhead. She's a singer. She was in the nineties. Fuck. What does she sing? I hum a few know. bars. Give me I something to don't work know with. Off the top yeah. of my head, I got to figure this out now. Hold on. All right, hold on. Google. You got, Talk about yourself. Redheaded Canadian singer. singer. 90s. Let's see what we got here. Um, ba, 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 ba. We've got. Um, no, this didn't give me shit. Oh, category Canadian female singers in Wikipedia. Wow, there's a whole category just for this. This is pretty amazing, actually. Uh, oh, Canadian girl groups, folk singers. Uh, contraltos, mezzo sopranos. <laughs> this is Shit, a lot of specifics. Of Holy crap! There's a lot of them. Oh, 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 oh! The song. It's like raining. It's like raining. That's Alanis Morissette. That is? Dude. No, it's, <laughs> it's like rain. Yes, on, on your, your wedding, wedding day. day. It's free advice. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! No, sorry it's about not, that, people. It's not it sounded her. better than Alanis Morissette. Oh man, my voice cracked. That's, not that's, that's, that's fucking her. Who is it? That's ironic, dude. Yeah, that's, I know, but it's not. It's not. God damn it! I got her confused <laughs> with that fucking her girl from Dogma. I know it's not. Ah, ah. Yes, Alanis Morissette is the one in Dogma. She is. We've the established actress in Dogma that too. No, let's let, let's let's figure this out. Let's hash this out. I think we need to figure out who this is. You so, have to because if not, I'm gonna so kill myself Canadian, tonight because okay, I can't remember so who it is. <laughs> Let's see here. Let's let's see what we got here. Um, so so she's redhead. Oh oh oh! The song zombie zombie. Oh, from the the cranberries. Yeah yeah yeah. So it's a group. It's not a no no. no it's not a group. It's 
No, that the, the cranberries that song, is a group. The cranberries sing zombie. Zombie. Fuck that, zombie that it's on her. God zombie, damn it. Zombie, eh, 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 I can't oh. do this. I don't know who it is. Is this a song? I don't know who it is. Oh, but the, is this a song you're thinking of? Probably not. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'll just I'll just get to the source. <laughs> I wanna figure this out. Redhead Canadian 90s singer. <laughs> Did she wear glasses? No. Lisa Love. Okay. I'm like looking at Yahoo Answers. 90s female singer that wore glasses? <laughs> 90s week Canadian indie rockers. Then and now. That's going to be like, this is the most random question on a Friday fucking night, Steve. How drunk are you? You're like, not really. What is that your second move? <laughs> I don't remember the lyrics. In your head, we are fighting with their guns and their guns and their guns and their guns and their balls and their balls. We are fighting. We are head. We are head. Zombie, zombie, zombie. <laughs> All right, turn this shit off. <laughs> turn this off, Jesus. Uh, he said cranberry zombie, so that's why I'm like, is this the one? And she's gold headed in this video, so I, know, I can't tell. Like, she looks like Cleopatra. Yeah, yeah, she's all like decked out like Cleopatra here. I'm slipping through a, an allery, a gallery of shit, 90s wait. indie rockers. Wait, hold on, I can. Hopefully, I can solve this. If Pat does get back to me, uh, Pat Callahan, he's the only Pat in my friends list. <laughs> Pat Callahan, he's the only uh, kid in my friends. Oh, okay, wait, hold on. Uh, uh, Mark Progressive uh, with red charcoals. Fuck. Okay, he doesn't give a name. <laughs> he's he's drawing her a picture of it too, and I can't. This is, this is, the, this is destroying oh. me. This is going to be the thing that kills me. <laughs> and why is it right now that there's nobody in the chat room telling us who we're talking about? Um. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man oh man that's hilarious yeah so 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 okay so you, she's from the 90s yeah, yeah hold on i'm okay, just uh so 90s canadian uh, female singers let's, yay because for quan accepted my friend's request yay. yay i'm on my way to become the flying fox um it's gonna be funny when i don't. 10 best canadian female singers let's see if they, let's see if she made this list drawing her picture give me a fucking name okay Alanis Morissette Avril Lavigne no okay no she's Shania Twain (gasps) that's it Shania Shania Twain country if you'd have said country I would have gotten it right away yeah Shania Twain's fucking hot yeah there we go of course we figure it out now Pat's (laughs) gonna be like Shania Twain why are you bothering me on my date night I hate you (laughs) who's Bed has your boots been under? That was a cover, though. I mean, that's a bad example to pull because that wasn't even her well, song. Well, then you play a fucking better Shania Twain example. Yeah, like Zahambe, Zah. Seems like this is one of the few songs that, hers that don't annoy the fuck out of me. No, maybe it's not Shania. Twain. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> Look how far we've come. Celine Dion. Baby. No, no. All right. Um. Nelly Furtado. Mm. She sings the song about the bird. I'm just a bird. I want to fly away. I want to fly away. Hey, right? That's her, right? I'm like a bird. Yeah. I want to fly away. away. It's a good pull. Anne Murray. Know where my home is. And who? Anne Hathaway. Anne Murray. Anne Murray, no. Diana Krall. Yeah. Johnny Mitchell. Maybe this should have Johnny Mitchell. Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah! That's Sad Dogs? Are you serious? Is it Sarah McLaughlin? It might be her. She's drawing the Sad Dog Girl? No, maybe it's not. I fuck! I don't 
No! Jesus, dude. <laughs> This is the best thing you are like you're like failing at this game, man. <laughs> Matthew, if you I, haven't figured it out yet, I fail at life. You don't fail at life, but this game, <laughs> this game I'm horrible at you're this. You're not doing too and good. And it sucks because it's gonna bug the hell out of me, and it's gonna be like midnight tonight, where I'm gonna send you guys texts going like, "This is who it was." You're gonna be like, and you're gonna be like, "It was Alanis Morissette." <laughs> no, it's not. It's not her because I I thought it was her, and I mentioned it. <laughs> Turn this off, dude. It's going to make me cry. <laughs> of the, dogs. The, sad, the sad dogs. The dogs and the cats and the puppies and the kittens. Those poor mistreated dogs and cats. Well, while we're talking about music, I'm going <clears> to <throat> I'm gonna switch it up. Yeah, do second. something because I'm failing at life. So right the other night was the iHeart Music Awards. Oh, it was the first. First annual, right? Yeah, the first ones. Uh, was it as lame as I thought it was going to be? I didn't watch them. Oh, okay. <laughs> but what they did do was they premiered a new unreleased song from Michael Jackson. Really? Featuring Justin Timberlake. Oh, man, JT, I love you, man, but don't associate yourself with that. Dude, it's shut up. Back. This is it's awesome. There's no so I want to I want to listen to I want to check this out. All right. Yeah, go for it. So you got to you got to do what you me do. up there. You're up. You're good. You're good to go. Oh, I am good. Hit it. All right, let's check this locked out. Locked and locked. I'm excited. Uh. Uh. Serena Ryder. Let me see you move. This is Joe. I was actually really digging the song. I know. Uh, I'll, I'll, we'll get back to it. Tori Amos. <laughs> oh, oh, Tori okay. Amos. Is she Canadian? I guess. No idea. I don't know. <laughs> I'm like, Tori Amos. All right. So, so oh, now I forgot the original point of the story. Trying to figure out who this person was. Why, why, were, we, why were we trying to figure this out? Uh, I don't know because she was a hot <laughs> redhead. I, I don't know where I was going with that. I didn't really have an end to the meme. Go she, back to the cool Michael Jackson yeah, song. Yeah, play that song some more. I'm just going to look at... I don't even know what Tori Amos sings. I doubt if it was ever mine Not like you hold me Hold me Ooh, baby Love never felt so good And I doubt if it ever could Not like you hold me Hold me In the night Through the thick and thin Got it locked by the sea Dig it, man. I'm biased, though. I love both of them. So. I'll admit I like Michael Jackson's music. I just think he was a creep. Let me see you move. Let me see you move. It's totally old school, my goodness. That's uh, I dig it. That's cool. That's some bad news right here. What's that? So my sister just posted spotted the tweakers who set my house on fire. Guess they've been released from jail. 
Let's hope those bastards are smart enough to keep the fuck away from me. Watch out, I'm end up with a mugshot of the week. So she moved though, right? Well, not far. She's in the same thing. She just moved one unit over. Oh. But I will say this, tweakers, I will find you. Fuck tweakers. I will catch you. Like seriously, and I, I think... will set you on fire. <clears throat> Tori Amos, I had no idea. <laughs> I'm looking. You know what, though, Tori Miss. She acts too. She's been. Oh, in, yeah. Okay, I'm um, sure. But um, you know gonna, what, Eric? Okay, first off, I mean, you I know don't what? Think, I don't think she's if, attractive, though. No, yeah, I'm looking. I'm like Shania Twain, way hotter. Even Sarah McLaughlin's hotter than her. I, mean, I don't know. I'm just whatever picture she showed me. It could have been back from the '90s. Maybe it was like one of those random pictures where somebody. Because I'm looking at some. Okay, yeah, you know not, what? But okay. I, no, no, no. I'm just. Okay. You know what? All right. Dude. Okay. Hey, it's you, cool. You have no it's cool, idea. man. It's cool. It's cool. You have no idea where I'm <laughs> going with this. I was just trying to remember somebody, and I thought we'd got a huge, great got music like discussion here. Tabs of Canadian and, redheaded singers open right now, and you just like to <laughs> none of it's what? working. You just like to shit on my point. That's all you like to do, Eric. You know what else I like to do? What I like to plug our sponsors, <laughs> like Amazon.com. Go visit the Sasquatch.net. Click on that Amazon banner and shop like you normally would. You probably get a buy little some bit Tori of a taste. Amos albums, you could buy a Tari Amos album. You, you could, could buy get groceries. Too. You could buy some Shania Twain yeah. albums. Wow. Wow. You could, you could get those That's cheap. harsh. You could get those That's cheap harsh. too, dude. Yeah. You buy you shit on Amazon. <laughs> Shit's cheap, dude. <laughs> you're, you're basically just paying for shipping and handling. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, you'll see stuff's like one penny, five ninety nine shipping. You're <laughs> yeah, like, wait a minute, man. but I... It's like down the road. I'm like, can I just come pick it up? No. No, this ain't Craigslist, <laughs> bitch. Um, if you want to do that, go yeah, to but Craigslist. Go visit our website at thesasquatch.net or no, sociallyawkwardstudios.com. Because that um, woman had a penis. Oops. Not again. Not no more. We're not doing that one again. Uh, but also visit our website at foradradio.com. Check us out on Spreaker, iTunes, Stitcher, the Zoom Marketplace, the Blackberry Podcast Directory, the Blueberry Podcast Directory. We're on the Miro Guide, Double Twist, YouTube, Swell Radio, SoundCloud, and and player.fm. We are everywhere. There are no excuses. If you're going to be at Phoenix Comic Con, come check us out. We're doing a live show at 10.30 p.m. Friday night, June 6th. We'll be in room North 227C. Uh, we'll also be back in that same room, North 227C, on Sunday at noon, doing the podcasting from and for dummies. For and from dummies. Um, so check that out. Check out podcasting for and by dummies. Yes. 101. Come come learn how to be idiots like us. <laughs> when Eric um, Dewey signs up for a panel, he didn't know he'd get more than he bargained for. It. Rob Schneider is a panel rated PG-13. He's just sitting in the back row. You can do it. He's just, <laughs> the, he's just sitting next to us going like, oh, my God, I'm a panel. <laughs> Uh, also, don't forget to check out uh, Raven Designs at ravencruise.com and, of course, our fern spreadshirt, fern.spreadshirt.com. And uh, check out our friends, not official sponsors yet, but uh, check out our friends over at State 48. That's state48.com. or on the Facebooks and the Twitters. They got some really cool clothes. I'm hoping that I have my shirt by next week. Maybe I'll wear it to the show next Friday. We'll see. And then, uh, so... Uh, do that. Um, next week, of course, we're going to be back on Friday night at 6 o'clock, broadcasting live once again, and we are going to have Paul, the actual director and co-creator of Zero Complex, on the show live with us. So um, Let's see if I can charm him and see if I can work my way up into the web series. I was thinking that uh, next week's question, we should go ahead and do the mailbag and see if we can get anybody who wants to specifically ask Paul something. Maybe that way we can get some submissions. You know so go to I'm going to let you do that. I'm going to let Matthew do that because every time I do mailbag, people are like, "Fuck you, Steve." <laughs> <laughs> so, so why don't we do that? We're going to call it now. This week's Sass asks is you ask us something. You could ask us anything you want, or if you want to specifically direct it at Paul about Zero Complex or other web series or directing or uh, video or movie making, whatever you want to do, go to sociallyawkwardstudios.com slash mailbag, throw in your question, or hit us up on our Facebook at facebook.com slash the Sasquatch Net. Follow us on Twitter at the Sasquatch Net. Subscribe to us on youtube.com slash the Sasquatch Net. We try to make it real easy. Just remember the Sasquatch Net, and you'll have everything you need. The website, the Twitter, the email, everything. It's all there. So I think that about it covers it. It is all there. Got any last minute plugs there, Matthew? What's up? 
Got any last minute plugs? Anything you want to do? Uh, actually, I was just uh, on my. Uh, you fired a Perthstone and no, no, tuned out. I no, went sure. to uh, my <laughs> my Fro Show page. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Alex from Arcade Island, which I've featured them quite a few times on right. the show, he dropped me a line. So I was just writing them back. Oh, Ooh. right on. That was cool. He's uh, He got a new album that just came out. So um, he gave me the link to download it so I can play uh, some new tracks. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. So maybe we'll have a maybe we'll have a new fro show next week. Maybe. Oh yeah, it's like, maybe. I was like, and Matthew he, uh, forgot her secret handshake. Yeah, he, he dropped me that on April sixteenth. So that was a bad that was a bad move Oops. on my part. <laughs> now are they uh, are they local or no? No, they're oh, in Pennsylvania. Okay. Um, well, let me tell get, like, you, Pennsylvania. Audio, maybe get some some audio. That is awesome. Action. I think yeah, okay. I, I, I like when uh, I like when uh, Matthew can uh, do some connection with the music. Music. Yeah. I got the music Man, in I'm like, me. I'm gonna probably listen to that all night now. That my and I'm not like like. Don't get me wrong. I like Michael Jackson, but I kind of just like eh, pushed him aside after a while. But now I'm like I'm like I love Michael that. Jackson. I, I, I I like his music, especially his older stuff. But I just <sighs> don't. I can't. I don't. Some it's fine. people, I just can't get past. It's okay, man. You I can... know where you're going with it. Just don't ruin the moment, man. It's fine. You don't have to like him. Don't be me. Don't I mean, I know you music. agree that he's very talented and yes. he does very good music. Yeah. You might not like him as a person, yes. and that's fine. All right. That's fine. Yeah, like Kobe Bryant. But you appreciate the music. <laughs> you appreciate the music. <laughs> because his music deserves to be appreciated. I will say this. If you haven't seen the teaser trailer for the next Simpsons coming up with the Legos, you should check it out. It's funny. I'll check that out. All right, folks. We'll be back here one week from tonight. And until then, I am... Tap that says. <laughs>Play Uncle Fucker. <laughs> this has been another fine production of the 4 I Radio Network. For Nothing but professionals here, folks. <laughs> For more great shows, check out www.4iradio.com. I was Tori Amos.